Why is it taking so long? Okay, there we go. Game is this, guys. Game is this. <gasps> Capcom. Whoa! Who's fighting? I can't see he's so far away. Wait, why is his name Charlie? What the hell's going on? Ooh. Whoa! Who's that? Okay, I don't like the announcer already. But that was a cool intro, dude. Okay, so this is Street Fighter Alpha 1. Big jump. Big, big jump. This is, I think, Capcom's first spin-off Street Fighter game. Um, even though it's still canon. I think it takes place after Street Fighter 1, but before Street Fighter 2. It features Final Fight characters, Street Fighter 1 characters, and Street Fighter 2 characters. And some new ones. Hey Austin, thanks for the 4-9. Thanks for using Prime on me, buddy. Alpha 2 is a retcon of Alpha 1? Ah, who cares about the details. Hey, is that Sodom? And, uh, what else? Yeah, man, you guys can tell it has like a brand new art style. This is gonna be sick. I don't know much about this game. You guys are gonna have to tell me the mechanics. Did I mention that the game is called Street Fighter Zero in Japan? Did I mention that? Well, it is, just so you guys know. Which will make more sense. Well, kind of makes sense. Okay. Can't believe I'm playing this for the first time, guys. It's crazy. Where's all the characters? Is this supposed to look like this? Guys, where are all the characters? Street Fighter V had a bigger roster than this game. What do you mean, don't fuck jury? Guys, this has less characters than Street Fighter II. What's going on? Where's Laura? You guys are clowns. Who's that? This idiot. How's the sound? Good? Wow. Oh, shoot. Forgot I'm using all my buttons. Oh, I can cancel sweep in the fireball? Sounds good. You guys like this art style? I need secret inputs to unlock Akuma and Bison and a new character? Spoilers. Ouch. It's okay, I guess. Still no Asiras. So, supers. I have Hurricane Kick Super. Okay. And I got a Fireball Super. Whoa, that sucks. Wait, why do I only use one level? How do I use all three levels? Oh, that's cheap. All three buttons. I didn't do it. I don't know if I can hit all three buttons, guys. How do you want- Luke wasn't born yet, Roy. Who's that? Guys, why is it drawing a Z when the game is called Street Fighter Alpha? Why is it draw an A? Hey, she's using her Fortnite costume. The devs are lazy. <laughs> oh, where's my DP? Oh! Can't hold forward and do, do uppercut. Wasn't Ryu the side? No, this is Ryu, this is young Ryu. Before he got jet. Whoa! 
Whoa! Iframes on that? Okay, I'm gonna attempt to press all three buttons. It's a banger! Okay, hold on. It's a banger! It's a banger! I used one again. I can't use three! Does the arcade machine have a three kick button by any chance? So in this game, they introduced three levels of bar. That's a huge jump. Multiple supers. That's also a huge jump. I don't have my uppercut super in this game. Oh, we also have alpha counters. It's core circle to down punch while blocking. Cool. Who's that? Who's Charlie? It looks like Guile. Wow, cross up Tatsu, boys! Nash's twin brother. Damn, supers are cheap in this game. Even the level 1 supers have vibe. Oh, they're throwing money at us! Whoa! Carlos Charlie Blanc. <laughs> Great. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Don't forget about chain combos. What do you mean, frick chain combos? I'm saying Marvel, bro. Ouch. What? He can block in the air? That's cheap. What's the point of what's the point of neutral if you can block in the air? I can't tell if you guys are joking about the chains. Are you guys joking? What else? I got some command normals too. Hey look guys, it's Rose. Seeing air blocks is funny. Why does it have a Z on the timer? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Damn, they were lazy. It doesn't have chains. Give me an example. Like light medium punch? Ouch. I'm gonna ask it. Damn, cross attacks is so sick. Oh, I got the hop kick, guys! This is so cheap. Remember they gave this to Evil Ryu in Street Fighter 4? Crouching medium kick, crouching heavy punch? No. You lie. What the hell? What's this? This isn't Street Fighter. I saw it. What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh my god, you're right! They're in chains! Fuck! Holy cow! Air blocks! Chains! What happened to this franchise? <gasps> that was cheap. <laughs> Anime happened. Okay, so when when people are saying they wanted Street Fighter Alpha 4, what they're really saying is they just want Street Fighter to become Marvel. That's what they're saying. Alright, that gives me more ammunition now to talk shit. Glad I finally played this game. Now I understand. It all makes sense now.
But you're having fun, Vesper. How the hell you know what's going on in my head? What the hell? Wait, why is Birdie so skinny? Oh! Dude, Birdie is like one of the hardest uh, CPU characters in Street Fighter 1, man. He's so insane, Street Fighter 1. What do you mean when Birdie was cool? Are you kidding me? Oh, you just did the chain on me just now. The ch the, but the chains are very specific in this game, guys. They're kind of like target combos, I guess. You know? Oh, I did the level What? I did the level 3 and they completely whiffed. Oh, no. Is there a roll in this game? Shit. No, they did an amazing job on Birdie in Street Fighter V. You guys are just haters. You guys, you guys just don't like Birdie because he made Tokido cry. Crouching, light kick, medium, heavy kick. How fast do you press it? It's like a weird timing. You don't like mash it out, but it's there. This stage is supposed to be that Bruce Lee stage, right? This is from a scene. What the hell was that? Short, medium, sweep? Holy cow. Oh, guys, we're beating this game in like two seconds. This is like the shortest playthrough ever. I think it was called uh, The Big Boss. Yeah, that famous... Was it the one with Chuck Norris? Where he rips off his like chest hair. <laughs> Hey, is that Sakura in the background? Why is guy able to jump so high up? What the hell? Yeah. Look, guys, all his moves from Final Fight. Holy shit! Kind of crazy because these cha the chains that the uh, guy has are just Final Fight chains. You guys like this stage? It's cool. Yeah. Dude, it, this this forward medium kick is so sick. I, I Ryu should always have it. I think he had it in CVS 2 as well. But Evil Ryu and Street Fighter 4 had it. Dude, you guys want to talk about copium, bro. Dude, there are so many people like leaving comments saying they're not going to bring back Evil Ryu. He's past that arc in the lore. <laughs> like, okay, bro. But Capcom is willing to make exceptions for Mula. Okay, why do you guys think Nash came back? They don't give a fuck about the lore, okay? They can do whatever they want. I care. You think Cage is coming back? You guys are fucking off your rockers if you think Cage is coming back. Okay, you, the copium is unreal, dude. They really think that Ryu is not gonna have, they're not gonna have evil Ryu. Watch, dude. Give it like two seasons, he's there. Fuck, you might even be in the base roster. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Oh, it looked like I parried that. It was just me blocking. Yeah. I got height. Even though parry's whack. Mm -hmm. What's up, Grimlock? That was Way of the Dragon? Man, why are you fighting Ken so late? Hey, weren't we already on this stage? Oh, this is a different stage. No, it is the same stage, there's just no people around. What the hell? Wow, he's got the same AI as Street Fighter 2. Is that an homage?
I like how the fireballs look in this game. It looks very, um, Darkstalker-ish, you know? The way they did the animation for it, it looks cool. I don't like how you can't see the hands in the fireball, because I think that's a traditional thing, but... Anime? I- yeah, I guess so, hey? It is kind of an anime style. Yeah, you guys are right. It is anime. Plus chains, air blocking. Yeah. If Violent Ken comes back, <laughs> Violent Ken. Oh, dude, Violent Ken would be so cool. No! Can you special move cancel in this game? Like, can I go Fireball Super? Wait, was that was Red Fireball? It looked like I had Red Fireball. He, he lit on fire. He rolled? Oh, you can roll? How do you roll? Why doesn't Ryu say anything? He says, now I'll find a new challenger. What the hell does that mean? <gasps> Sick ass. Oh, this is the game where they made Sagat's uppercut poopy, right? Uh, back for more Sagat? Every day I see it. Whoa! And I imagine you broke- Wow, that's so cool! Every day I look at this scar. Holy shit, he's seething. Like the Horizon team. That's crazy. There you go. Man, they really slowed Sagat down in this game, hey? Like, his tiger shot should be overwhelming. I should be like, man, I need to get in. Yeah, see, they made his uppercut multi-hitting in this game. Uh-oh. Put another scar on him and make him an X-Man? Holy cow, that's dark. Salty Sagat. <laughs> it's like the Sagat stage, but from a different angle. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, that did so much damage. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Even in Champion Edition, it's multi-hit stop line. No! That's an homage. Ouch. Stage is designed by Jerry fans. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be super. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I can air block in this game. Wait! I was blocking! I can't block DPs? If I can't block DPs, then what the fuck's the point of an air block? You can't block grounded moves. What? What do you mean? What are the rules here? Yeah, I saw the the close fireball, red fireball. Thanks. Can only cancel normals in the super. No special in the super. Okay, got it. And how do I roll? I don't think anyone knows how to roll. Color changes in the portrait, too. That's good UX design, bro. Oh. Can't I flip out in the air, guys? Or is that not till Alpha 3? Horse circle down roll. Thanks. There we go. Two on this! 
QCD is core circle down. Educate yourself. Reverse door circle <laughs> Don't you need reverse door circle back? <laughs> oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> That's right. Your eyes are now open. Guys, I can't do anything against Sagat, he's hurting me. Ah! Reverse rev dot QCF. <laughs> if Shigen pops up, make sure you guys ask him how he would write that down. Very curious. Guys, that glossary is butchered now. Oh, just out of range. Woo! Not gonna lie, guys, the invincible DPs are kind of sick. Especially the jab ones. <gasps> I hate you, Ryu, more than ever! You're a jerk! Sagat stares hard. Ryu ignores him. Ryu feels empty and very upset with a capital S. Sayonara. What?! A true warrior fights with skill, not anger. Wait, what? Is that true? As he walks away, he meditates on the true way of the warrior. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. Guys, no jokes. First of all, we beat this game in like three minutes. Mm. Second off, where the hell was Bison? Third, I love those arcade endings, dude. They're short, sweet, but they're awesome. I just love the the exchange, you know? It's awesome. So anyways, where the hell's Bison? What's going on? Bison wasn't invented yet? Or he doesn't run into Bison because of Street Fighter 2? You will die, you have bad quest design. <laughs> Play as Dan? There's Dan in this game? Everyone else gets Bison. Oh, Everyone else gets Bison. Okay. Man, we beat this game so fast. Let's beat it one more time. Let's be it one more time and then we'll do the video. It's like nine o'clock. We literally just started. Okay, who are we gonna use next? Let's use a new character. Who you guys wanna use? Guy? I'm seeing a lot of people say guy. Uh, how do you use guy? Sodom? Fuck, I'll use Sodom against Qua. <laughs> okay, how do you play as guy? Can guy, oh, here he is. Don't worry, we'll play Sodom, guys. We're, I mean, we're playing this for two days. We're playing this tonight and tomorrow. So we'll we'll get through all the characters. What's this? His fireball is a command jump? Oh, his heavy kick is crazy. His jump arc is insane. So I have no fireball, right? I got this hurricane kick. Can I do it in the air? Nope. What? That doesn't combo? Man, Street Fighter is just so weird without a dash. Like. Okay. So what do we got here? Down medium punch in the air, forward medium punch. Core circle forward twice in the air. Okay. 
And then with kick? What's with kick? Guy can run? Uh, how do I run? Guy has a touch of death in this game? Oh, he's got a slide. Oh, core circle forward kick is run. Oh! That's just like Lucia. How do I do my supers? Uh, double core circle forward punch. Whoa, that looked like Raging Demon. I guess that's the one I want to do. So this is like an anti-air one? Okay, cool. That one looks hard to do, though. The perspective on the stage is wild? Why? Wow, what's wrong with it? Oh, it is kind of wild. Oh! I'm supposed to be doing, like, chains and stuff, right? Light, medium, heavy, heavy kick card combo. Thanks. So that feels good. My crouch immune kick uh, knocks down and hits twice? That's broken. Ooh. Oh, dude, that, that wall jump, I'm literally across the entire screen. What the hell? Oh. Heavy punch. That's cheap, chun -Li. Oh! No juggle, though. See if I can do it when she jumps at me. Oh, not fast enough. You are so outclassed. That was very nice. Yep, this is the arcade version. Man, guy has so many special moves. I mean, it just looks like that because of all the combinations of the things he can do. The guy? Yes, the guy. Why can't I come with my hurricane kick? Oh, am I gonna do the light version? Is his hurricane kick like his anti or like his DP? So this guy like the Rashid of this game. What? Ooh. Shouldn't you be crawling to a hospital about now? Oh my god, he shouldn't say that because you know what, what's going to happen. He doesn't know yet, though. Look, guys, he kicks the barrels like in Final Fight. That's so cool. Dude, this character, Adon, it's so whack, bro. My buddy Stang uh, played him all the time in Street Fighter 4, so I had to deal with this stupid character all the time. That's just a Street Fighter 1 hater. Uh, I probably am, yeah. Probably. No, I like Birdie. Birdie's sick. Ouch. Adon is awesome. He's more Muay Thai than kind of Sagat, right? Because he doesn't have projectiles. He actually goes in. Hey man, they had to pick a few characters from Street Fighter 1, they had no fucking choice. They're like, okay, yeah, we got this dude with a claw. I mean, we already got this guy with a claw, and they're like, okay, hey, let's 
Let's grab this eight on guy and hey, eagle. Uh. Aeon has a more traditional looking Mutai, and Sega is just a tiger spam. Yeah, exactly. They, I'm still pissed off with Sagat's design and how they had such a missed opportunity to for Sagat to send out the damn tiger for his V trigger. Like, come on, Count. Guys, look, it's Sodom. He was supposed to be in Street Fighter V, and then Capcom's like, fuck that. Well, I'm gonna beat your ass with this character. See me in 15? <laughs> you want me to play you in KOF 15? Oh, fuck. I don't wanna play that game, Qua. That's why I'm playing this, so I can distract the chat for as long as I can. Hopefully by Tuesday they forgot that game exists. Can't I run and do a slide, guys? Oh yeah, you can. Ouch. Did someone say kill? <laughs> What's with this theme? This theme is crazy. What? Hey, this stage, they copied the Zangief stage from Street Fighter 4. You wanna play some KO? <laughs> no, guys. No more. I'm tired of that jank ass game. Guys. There was this giant tournament in China recently for KOF with like Shao Hai and shit and all the top players. The top eight was literally all Vanessa, Ralph, Terry. That was the top eight. Those guys are playing a different fucking game, dude. There's less, <laughs> less options in KOF 15 than Marvel 2. It's those three fucking characters. So you were in it, right? <laughs> no, guys, no. Rest with the Ralph and Terry main. I, I know you guys love the Ralph, and I do too. But we gotta get rid of him so I can talk shit and be like, "Hey, I don't use S tier." You know what I mean? We gotta find another character too. So I can use that OS. So when we play against Qua, we always have an OS on standby. Okay, I'm gonna roll here. Watch. <laughs> Wow, rolling sucks! No! <laughs> I'm tired of watching Ralph already. Yeah, yeah. These nuts duel is gonna be a KOF killer. What makes you think KOF is gonna be alive when that game comes out? Vesper, read my message. Uh, at Thistle Whistle Who? Question mark. Okay. Hey, the Ken's cracked, guys. Guys, my my guy sucks. KOF needs a bit of balance, but since no one's gonna run a Street Fighter attorney with the new rules, don't worry, they're currently on negotiations right now. They want to unite the community. Didn't you read the message? 
I want Project L to be a premier game. Like I told you guys before, Riots, if you guys think that the Capcom contract's hardcore, wait until you see an actual big esports company contract. It'll blow your damn mind away. A match will finish, we'll probably be so scared to interact with each other, it'll just be two guys standing up, including icon, not even hand, it'll probably be like a bow, we'll just be like this. <laughs> and then we'll run away, so we don't get sued. I ain't talking to no one during a Project Dial tournament, no fucking way. A black man will drive past your house and I- That's what I'm saying, bro. Exactly. Project L will suck. Copium, bro. Just copium. Vesper, that wasn't it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, bro. I looked through my chat. That's the message I saw. What do you want from me? Punk's gonna get cancelled, these- How's he not cancelled already, dude? Have you not seen the recent shit that happened? We're all getting fucking cancelled, dude. Ooh, I like his heavy kick throw, it's sick. Yeah. Every pro player will need a lore on the stage. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Oh! No super! Ooh! Did you see how fast that punch was? That sandy medium kick is so crazy. Whoa, I hit him from that far. Nice. Oh, nice jump. The pressure. Oh. Oh. He threw a, a tiger shot right in front of me. The ancient version of Muay did they practice projectiles though? Well, I don't know anything about that. That's too next level for me. But when I watch Muay Thai on TV, I don't see them throwing fireballs at each other, so... Unless I'm watching the wrong sport. Ouch. Ouch. Jesus. Wait, this is Ryu stage? Shouldn't it be like a mountaintop or something? Ouch. Whoa! How did I do that, guys? That was so cool. Oh no. He's the bomb he trains from a grocery store? Isn't that loitering? Oh, that went through the fireball? Oh no. Oh god. No, super! Where's the super? Oh, that was level one. I went. I tried to cancel into it, man. Oh, I got destroyed by Ryu. I hate. Dude. His win quote is so annoying, man. He basically says nothing. 
Ouch. Oh. Can I combo anything, guys, after I land that elbow slam? Or is it just for pressure? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I did it! Yeah. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Okay, there we go. Everything's under control, don't worry. Wait, why did I get the... What, what's the rope symbol mean? Grab? Okay. Why does there need to be a symbol for grab? What's wrong with grabbing someone? What if they're blocking like a little bitch? No! I know it's a lasso now. Oh shit. I mean, I understand why it's, it's a lasso. Win with chip? I'll try. I'm going to assume it's gonna show cheese. What the hell? No! Yeah. Wake up, Hado. Yes. That. Yeah. Never mind. Damn it! I didn't even jump off that wall. Guy's crazy. What? I don't. How do I do that, guys? I don't know why I'm doing that. Holy cow! Oh, maybe you just roll into them. Damn it, that was supposed to be super. Oh no. Please go to the fireball. Chew on this! And I get the chip. Nice. It's like Hammy's hooligan. Ah, okay. Mm hmm. Hey, it's Bison. Is there a secret fight in this game? Sounds like I'll have to activate Sans. Why have you come here? There's a great evil within you. Yeah, no shit. See, this was the big bison I was telling you guys about. How there's like a skinny type of bison, and this is like the bigger bison. Oh wow, he's got this that fireball he got he has from Marvel. Wait, his Psycho Crusher is a super now? Big boy bison? Yeah. Oh shit, he's got a teleport. Oh man, they made bison really crazy in this game. He's got a teleport now, he's got a fireball, and his Psycho Crusher is a super. Jack Bison. Alpha Counter. Oh no, it wasn't Alpha Psycho Crusher. Sounds scary in this game. Oh! Psycho Crusher is cheap. Hey, it says VS. Pick El Forte? If he was in this game, I would definitely not pick him. He's at his strongest point in the Alpha games? I don't know, man. I think V Trigger 2 Bison would destroy Alpha Bison.
What? Oh, yes. Nice. I see right through your teleport, bro. We shouldn't be you guys. That's crazy. Hmm. Ooh! Oh, he's stunned! Two on this! Uh oh. Shit. Oh no! Yes! Reset! That was a frame trap. Cool. Now I am ready. He found his inner power. Wait, Bison could have been a great man? I don't know about that. I'll leave you with your conscience? Hey, he's smiling in the snow! What the hell was that about? He was smiling while lying down. He's like the Joker. Now ready to play Kill at 15? <laughs> that was weird. This game's pretty fun. You're back. Yeah, dude, having PlayStation and then having Resident Evil 1 as one of your launch titles. Whew! That's a lot of gaming. Damn, and the OG. OG Capcom intro. What if they add a new intro to this? Wait, what? There is no intro? Please tell me there's an intro. Oh god, a loading screen. That's never good. There is. Spoilers. Oh, it's the same intro. Isn't it? Yeah, that's the same intro. Damn, alpha counter. Is that like a fuzzy jumping jab? That's super cool. <laughs> that announcer, though. I don't get it. They still like didn't fix the whole Z thing. Oh, we got training mode in the PlayStation version? Nice. Okay, so to unlock dynamic mode, we need five stars or higher. What does it go up to? Eight? Yeah, just like Street Fighter 2. Okay, well, so we go five stars. Stereo remix or... Re well, let's go remix. That'd be normal. Uh, config. Uh, oh. Nice, it's just press the button and we can assign the buttons. Nice. Heavy kick. A kick. Wait, that's L2? This should be L2. That should be L1. Not bad. There was another thing here. What's set up? Oh. Rounds, three rounds, damage, easy select. Game speed. Uh, it's free faster than Turbo 2? Let's keep it on free. I'm worried about that. Free might be faster. Oh, training mode. What's training mode like? Does it have frame data? I need to see this, like, super old school training mode. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, let me uh see the code here. Okay, so it's go to random box, hold L two. Let me pop sands here in case I screw up. 
Oh, this is the remix. They added a, a whistle or a flute. <laughs> it's like some dude just joining the band and improvising. Triangle, square, X, circle, triangle. Okay, so we just go around. Yeah! Nice. The loading screens aren't actually this long. One second, I'm just closing the thing now. Okay. It's not actually this long, I swear. Holy cow, that is pretty long still, though. Holy moly, that's a long loading screen. Setup option. I'm assuming there's no command list. Record. Oh, they have a record option? This can't be real. Even back in 95? Oh wait, Sky Card probably came out in 96 though for PlayStation. This is incredible. Oh god. Some of these buttons are horrible. Oh, it has auto block on, guys. So we got DP. Got Dan kicks. Fireball. Does he have anything else? Can I do Dan kicks in the air? Oh. Does anyone know any other Dan moves? Cab jams going in. Doesn't look like he has any other moves. Uh, is it a new team where still Ash, K49, and Mai? We're, I'm still trying to find a way to get out Ralph, so I have the no S tier option select. We're gonna replace Ralph with, uh, I'm gonna try out Ryo. Because when we beat KOF95 with Ryo, I was inspired to check out Ryo in the game, so we're gonna try and play. They don't show damage on the life bar? Oh, you're right. They don't. It says... Well, it shows the points. I don't know. Hey, can I go short jab? What are... Let's find our... Oh, there we go. Here, we're gonna find our chains. Can I go heavy? Can do uppercut from this? Oh god. <laughs> I mean, at least it's got a cross up. Oh, that's my this is my jab, and this is my crouching medium punch. It's the same animation. Yeah, it looks like he only has jab medium chains. See, let's check out Fierce. Fierce punch and Fierce pick. Yeah. Just medium, medium. Okay, I can live with that. Remember, you can't jump over the opponent in the corner. Supers. Does he have Raging Demon or is this Algra? Oh. Alright, cool. Let's try to beat the game with him now. Yeah, I'm doing good, Kirby. Thanks for asking, man. I'm chill today. I was looking forward to streaming today. Get some gaming in here. Like I said, I'm working on my next video. My next video is going to be, like I said, the new series I'm starting is going to be awesome. We're going to have some fun videos for this year. 
Okay, so let me double check, make sure it's on five stars. It is. Now I just gotta make sure I pick Dan. I'll hit the sands just in case I screw up. Yeah, we're starting a brand new uh, YouTube series. Uh, we'll be going over the history of Street Fighter V, as well as the history of my channel. That's going to be amazing. The first episode will be... Well, I don't want to spoil too much, but... Uh, the first episode is going to be... The announcement teaser slash gameplay trailer. The very first game tra trailer for Street Fighter V. It's going to be very cool. We'll be going through all the character trailers. We'll be going through everything. It'll be as if Street Fighter V just came out just now. We're going through it all over again. Featuring Vesper Arcade. Yeah. Sounds interesting. I mean, what else are we going to talk about for a year? <laughs> but yes, it, I'll, I'll, don't worry, it'll be very interesting. I'm going through all my old videos, seeing what my opinion was, and seeing if I agree with my younger self. Because you guys got to remember, when Street Fighter V got announced, in 2014. Oh boy, how old was I? That was eight years ago? So I was 28 years old back then. 28. Still in my 20s. Street Fighter 5 Nostalgia? Yeah. Young King of Trials, yeah. It was crazy. Like, during that time I was doing videos, my dad could beat you, and he's dead. Whoa! What? Holy cow, what was that win quote? That's insane. <laughs> I was still doing Street Fighter 4 videos at the time, so... It was very long ago. Yeah. We're going through all that, Vito. It's gonna be awesome, dude. You guys like these remixes? It's all right, yeah. Not too different, just they added like a track on top of the original track. Sounds like an arranged version. Yeah. Just something to spice it up. So far, the PlayStation port's not bad. It feels a little slower, I guess. But maybe that's because we're on free speed. But it seems okay so far. I would not be disappointed with this version. Chad said free was slow. Ah, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was faster or slower. That's okay. At least I know it's not the game. <laughs> Keep your day job. And Dan talks a lot of smack. Hey, it's Charlie. Alpha 1 and 2 are pretty good, but the Alpha 3 is terrible. The Siren Port is like 10,000 times better. Oh, word. So when Alpha 3 came out, it was still on PlayStation? Couldn't Capcom have gotten sued for using the Great Wall? I don't know, did they? Oh, dude, Dreamcast, yeah. Dreamcast port must have been insane. Oh, 
this is a weird stage for Charlie. Yeah, it's like nothing military related. Very weird, yes. Alpha Connor. Oh, he doesn't do the Alpha Connor at the end? <gasps> All the money. Damn, going hard on the guitar. Ooch. So yeah, guys, Monday and Capcom still doesn't say anything about the the balance patch. That has me curious. This is the second week. Technically. If we don't hear anything tomorrow, then I'll be very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. Yeah, end of the month is a the safest guess when it comes to Capcom saying what month the game is going on. I hope not. The thing is, is that why it's so sus is because the balance patch is like, it's already done. It's already done for sure. It's not like they need more time. Unless they're doing some kind of emergency Luke uh, nerf. So if it's not, if it's already done, because they had to, they they had to delay it not because they needed more time. They had to delay it because it had to sync up with Capcom Cup. Nice. Don't have to do the code again. Oh, nice. It's a cool lime color, like dragon fruit color. So if they had to delay it to sync up and had nothing to do with time, then why don't they just release it right away? Like right after Capcom Cup, you know? So hopefully that means that it's because they have other things in store to release. I'm not saying a full season, but it'd be nice to get something extra. Something cool to spice things up while we wait for Street Fighter 6. Best case scenario would obviously be Omega mode. That'd be hype. Super hype. Um, or it could be something whack, like... Capcom's just being cheeky and waiting for the KOF patch to come out, and then they're gonna try to one-up them and release the balance patch right after. Something stupid like that, you know? Oh my god, I'm getting completely zoned out here. Extend story mode? That'd be a disaster. No. Brutal! Four hits! Oh my god, why is this CP so hard? Way harder than the arcade. Way harder. Oh my goodness. Standing somersault? Oh no. <laughs> Everything is good except for these loading screens.
<laughs> Uncle Sam could use you. Holy cow. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm gonna cover the balance patch, the final- Oh no, I screwed up. Oh shit. Oh what? I picked Akuma by accident. Okay, I guess we're playing Akuma. How did I pick Akuma by accident? Did I randomly get him? Is that what happened? Or did I input a code by accident? That is very odd. No, I'm serious, guys. I'm not lying. I'm not Twitch acting. I'm serious. I picked them by accident. What the fuck? I fucking don't believe anything I say. I believe you, Vesper. Ouch. Hey, did you guys watch the uh, video I released today? The comments were fucking great, dude. I laughed. Where's my demon, man? Oh yeah, it's jab jab forward short. Anyways, it's hilarious because remember the part where I'm like, I'm like, hey, okay, random Capcom characters. I'm not gonna name any, and you guys were all like Wesker, and I'm like, no guns. I'm like, guys, we don't want any characters with guns in Street Fighter. And then you guys were like Jill. I'm like, no, you idiots. Jill has a gun too. The YouTube comments were so funny because the top comment is like. Vesper, uh, when you guys announced Wesker and Jill, I was like, no, no guns in Street Fighter. Also, Vesper, <laughs> Bayonetta. <laughs> so I laughed so hard when I read that comment. I didn't even think about that. I'm surprised you guys didn't call me out on that. Holy fuck, that made me laugh so hard. I woke up, I woke up today, and it's a, that's the first thing I read, and I bursted out laughing. Bayonetta literally has like a gun on each hand and fucking shoe. You know what I mean? I didn't even think about that. That's so funny. Oh man. Yeah, pure laughs. What about do you have a kick suit? No, I think the demon is the other super. Okay. Cameo weapon. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how we're gonna deal with the balance patch this time. I mean, obviously, I can read off the notes to you guys. That's obvious. But I don't know how I want to cover it on YouTube. I don't want to focus too hard on. It. I really want to focus more on Street Fighter Six. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I guess we can do a. Uh, a final hurrah to certain characters, you know, like Nash and Ryu, and how they finally ended up. How their fate finally ended up. Dude, I can't do Demon! The Street Fighter V balance patch is in this month, we don't know when. We just know it's this month. Oh yeah, we should check Akuma's, uh... What his, uh, chains are. I swear, I can't do Demon. Is it only in the arcade? Oh, maybe it's fierce in this. Maybe it is fierce in the PlayStation version. Fudge. It is! Damn it! It's with fierce in the PlayStation version. Oh my god, that arc of that flash hit. Do I mod my arcade stick to suit several consoles? Uh, no, I always use stock parts. I prefer so full Sanwa. I used to mod my- I used- I have experimented with different joysticks and buttons, and at the end of the day, I feel like Sanwa... The reason why a lot of Japanese pros still use it is just because it's really reliable. But it's all preference. 
I tried a Korean crown joystick. I tried a Simitsu buttons. I've tried mechanical buttons. I've tried everything. Does anyone use Sama besides Kwamba these days? I'm sure, uh, like, Razer would use Songwa, um, Victrix Pro would use Songwa. I mean, anyone that's not Hiori, not Hiori, Hiori, Hori, would use, uh, Songwa. I only have a 360 arcade stick, but I don't really want to buy separate sticks for Switch, PS4, or Xbox. Uh, there are adapters. I'm not really keen on what those adapters are called. One is that thing they use to cheat in Call of Duty. What was it called? Uh, what the fuck is it called? What's that thing they use to cheat in Call of Duty, guys? They plug it into their console? I forgot what it's called. Not leg switch, guys. <laughs> no, it's uh, no, not a game shark, guys. Uh, it has aimbot, yes. What is it called, though? Mm. Damn it, Hennessy was here, he would know. Cronus Max, thanks, Slim. Jesus. Yes, yeah, Cronus Max. Check out Cronus Max. I'm pretty sure it has a way to bypass so you can hook up to different consoles. But this was like years ago. It might be different now, but there are adapters, and just like the chat said, if you play on PC, you won't have that problem either. But I'm sure there is a solution. I'm sure there is. Damn, I tried Demon. Don't jump. Why does Charlie like to jump so much? Holy cow, it's so hard to do Demon! I'm like, I'm like baby's first demon right now. Do I hold forward, maybe? Oh. Jab, jab. It's not jab, jab, short face. I swear, it's different. What the hell is going on? I can't do demon? Where's Qua? I need Qua. He would know what to do. Maybe because the speed is weird? I have to, I have to input it slower? Because I put it on free speed? I don't know. Brook converters one, two, yep. I remember that too. Best pretend demon. I can! Watch the Street Fighter 3 trials. I literally combo into demon. I input it so fast. You have to do it very slowly. Alright. Doosanal? Whoa! Hey, I didn't do that move when I played Guy. I didn't do that either. What the hell? My first Street Fighter 6, here we go again. The Mike Saga continues. Would Mike count as a Street Fighter 2 character? And thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. I'm inputting Demon at varying speeds. Yeah, you got to input it quite slow. Quite slow.
This grows boring. Yeah, baby demon, exactly. Baby demon, boys. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe we'll do the video tomorrow, guys. It'll be fun. I don't know how long the video would be, though. It'd probably be pretty long. I, I gotta really figure out a. I gotta figure out the script. Cause then maybe we could just dedicate the stream to it. That'd be kind of fun. So. Damn, those high frames were insane. So the CP got a huge upgrade. No! What? Oh. I inputted too quickly the first time, and I had to slow it down. Oops. You know, they should add a Kuma to KOF, but it really spice things up. Chip them? Oh no. Oh! I tried doing wake up super. Ken's AI was those shuriken three times. Yeah, I it's crazy how they they did it on purpose, like from Street Fighter 2 and carry it on in the future games. Like I think I swear he even has it in Street Fighter 5. Not Street Fighter maybe Street Fighter 5, but Street Fighter 4 for sure. It's such a cool, like nostalgic thing. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they were talking about that on, uh, I think on Kappa today, on, uh, all the cool, like, old-school April Fool's Day jokes. Remember, we were talking about the Marvel 3 one. And then there was, um... The CBS 3 April Fool's joke. April Fool's Day joke. And... There was... I think Gotetsu one. Or no, Shenlong. The famous Shenlong one that was in the magazine. And there was some weird, whack Tekken one. But back in the day, man, without like Twitter and shit, like you could get fooled quite easily. Mm. Hey, man, you gotta embrace the FGC. Everything, everything has to be embraced. Please don't go. KO. You win. EGM's April Fool about Goken. Yeah, there's crazy ones. I swear, I remember when I read about the, the Mega Man X one where you get the fireball. I remember. I remember. I'm like, I swear this isn't real. This is an April Fool's Day joke, but it wasn't. Because the way you get it is so ridiculous. You know? Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, he didn't do it three times! What the hell? 
He broke the rules. You do. When is Final Fantasy 2 Pixel Remaster? What the hell are you talking about? I beat it. I beat that Godforsaken game twice. What more do you guys want? That's pro I probably played it more than anyone else in the world. I hope Ken does have a monstrous face in in six like he does in five. I'm really pre really psyched to see if Violin can return. Yeah, I know everyone would. I can't comment if they're gonna screw up on Ken's face, but I'm sure his hair will be fine. At the very least, I can assure you of that. The codes in the Go Knights will unlock key without speed the stage were kept hidden for like a year or two. Yeah, before the world of uh, data mining. I remember when Halo 3 came out and they said people wouldn't figure out the secret for like years to come and they figured it all in the first week because they just data mined the game. The Shenlong joke later inspired the creation of Akuma. That is an amazing tribute. Funky. Final Fantasy 3 next? Uh, we got a long game to play soon. But it's not Final Fantasy 3. I had to put my Dragon Quest 3 on hold because of the Street Fighter 6 news. Shit, I didn't mean to throw him. Storyline wise, should Street Fighter 6 be before or after Street Fighter 3? It's almost, it's pretty much confirmed it's taking place during and after. We have many reasons why. One, the storyline, the main director, hence the, or, and plus the guy who does the storyline, confirmed that Street Fighter 5 takes place uh, during and after Street Fighter 3. So, for example, uh, Sean wins if you beat the arcade mode with Laura on the Street Fighter 3, it shows Sean winning his first fighting tournament, which would be after Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. And he confirms that's canon. So we know Street Fighter 5 is already taking place after. Then Capcom said Luke is the future of Street Fighter. Okay? And Luke is already in Street Fighter 5. And he's the future. Then we see Luke in the teaser, and he's got scars that he didn't have before. And Ryu looks older. He's got a beard. So that pretty much confirms that it is taking place during and after. That's not to say we can't have, like, separate storylines that take place before, but the main storyline will take place during and after. Sean should have been in Street Fighter 5 instead of Laura. I mean, every character should have been in Street Fighter 5 instead of Laura. Keep getting the roll. Not that. Oh, no roll to get knocked down. You think Rose going back to Alpha will mean anything? Once again, guys, keep this in mind that Rose does not go back in time. I know this is almost semant semantics, but Rose contacts her younger self. She's not actually going, she's not time trapped. She's just talking to her younger self. So that does not mean we'll necessarily see Alpha Rose. She is still trying to change the future, but in a different kind of way. She's talking to younger Bison? Perhaps, but Bison's not her target. 
our target is G. And they need Ryu for G. And Oro is also helping Rose, and that's why Oro is training Ryu. I'm not a lower guy, but that's, as far as I understand, that's what's going down. If it's taking place during and after, doesn't it soft confirm Gil as a cast character? I don't know, Silver. Or at least Yurian. I mean, that's why I put uh, Yurian and Gil on the list, because they'd be relevant. But they can still have Gil and Yurian literally as just cameo characters if they really want to. So no character is safe. When it comes to fighting games, they can bring back anyone they want, if they want. Because the story is not pre-written and they can change everything on the fly. Oh damn, my fire was not multi-hitting? It's only multi-hitting when it hits them. I think Bison actually has cooler gray hair. I kind of like how Akuma looks, looks like in Third Strike with a little gray streak. I think that's sick. Capcom ought to stop announcing main characters and just write good stories so that it becomes clear. I think Capcom should just stick to what they're good at. I don't, I don't want Capcom to do this giant CG story thing like Mortal Kombat does, because I don't think Capcom's good at it. I think they should just stick to their arcade endings and just have really good artwork. I think that's what they're good at. When you try to put every character in the story, it becomes a giant incoherent mess. And only a couple of characters actually, uh, I don't know what the word would be, evolve, it's not, I don't know, but they progress their storyline. Whereas in arcade mode, technically every character kind of progresses their storyline a little bit. Even if some of the arcade endings aren't canon. Damn, it's not even invincible. Yeah, I understand Mortal Kombat is... But Mortal Kombat is what started... Started it. And Capcom was was copycatting. And I think that led them astray. I don't want Capcom to think that their method of telling a story is outdated. Because I don't think it is. I think having an excuse to play the game multiple times to see all and collect all the endings is great. Did you know that Bison is really just a purple energy, the cycle power, and the body is just the latest host body? I, I like I know something about like Bison or Rose is his like good side or something. I don't know. He's he's a Rochimaru, bro. He's he wants Ed's body bad. He wants the bald, bro. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, it goes over fire. Low fire shot. Cool. I hope we never see Seth again. There's no reason to even have him in the story. It'd just be a hindrance. Mm. 
Hey, my nep my nephew started watching Naruto. He's done watching uh, all of DBZ and the new the new Dragon Ball series, and he started watching Naruto on Netflix. He's down the dark past. <laughs> He's very young. I was trying to explain to him, like, yeah, I watched this when I was a kid, just like you. And I aged with Naruto. But he's watching it, like, you know, with English dubs, and it's censored and stuff. There's certain things they skip. So it's, it's not that bad to watch for kids. But he likes it. He's up to the part uh, where they're in the forest exam. So when they, that's when the anime becomes Kino. So once they hit that forest exam, it's so good. Yeah, he doesn't say dot the bio. He says like believe it or something, and he hits himself with a juice box over the head. <laughs> it's funny. Believe it. Oh man, Ryu's a bomb. I did it twice. You win. Cage was a waste of a roster spawn Street Fighter 5. Well, the more and more people that talk about Cage, I do get, I do understand that. The Ryu overcoming his Satsui no Haru arc is kind of over, so that's why they wanted Cage. Because technically, it's you know he's he's suppressed it, but I mean, it's just bring it back anyways. Fuck it. Ryu's story actually ha has a lot going on right now, but for the sake of DLC, they'll figure out a way to bring it back. Kind of funny they gave it to Sagat. Like Sagat is dealing with the Satsui no Haru. It's so random. Sounds like a fanfic or some shit, you know? But that's how it's going. We're gonna have evil Sagat guys. Yo, Lightwing, where were you yesterday, bro? I was playing Guy. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Actually, I should pop the Sans here. So we can see Akuma and Dan's ending. So guy just told it off and moved on. <laughs> Rarely have I seen such power. Why do you hesitate? Why does he say you hesitate? Mm. Holy cow, Bison's mm. crazy. Psycho Crusher. Crusher. Mm. Yeah, five stars, you tough. Do. Round two, fight! Mm. Yeah, Akuma's story is kind of crazy right now. Akuma is just kind of chilling. Like, Ryu's too busy for Akuma. Akuma is just like, he just wants Ryu to succumb to the Sasuke no Hado, so he has a challenge. And Nikali is donezo, bro. He ain't never coming back. You are a fool to challenge me. Yeah, he's dealing with the Tekken storyline right now. He's gonna find a new rival? Luke? <laughs> he's gonna come after Luke, the better show? <laughs> no? 
Asira? <laughs> gonna come after Asira? Or Relento? Beef with Jury? Yeah, Nash got done dirty. Both in the story and uh, in the game. He had one good season and rip. Now he's a meme character. Or only people that lag really poorly use him. How the hell am I supposed to beat this guy with Dan? I can't even beat him with a Kuma. Like, didn't Nash literally sacrifice himself and blew up? For no reason? Oh shit, I had my good loot. Oh my god, that was a punish. He just evaporated. What the hell does that mean? He just blew up for fun? <laughs> he pulled a Chouse. <laughs> Chouse! I completely forgot about that. He <laughs> pulled a Chouse. <laughs> Dude, that's dark, man. Why'd you bring that up? Shit's dark, guys. Peak dark comedy. Yeah, it was just... Yeah, you guys are right. It could have been epic. It could have been epic, but it was executed very poorly. Definitely. Yeah, Gohan Piccolo moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. It was, it was definitely executed poorly. Shit. Uh oh. I'm close. Ah! Let's try and be as cheap as I could. Hurt me, please. Ouch. Oh, he's got an air fireball super. What the? I just input it just because I was curious. What the hell? Yo, what's up, Kyle's? How come you won Gen? He's pretty boring. What the hell is boring about Gen? He's not like any other character. He's got two stances, a shit ton of moves. A shit ton of supers. He's another evil dude. His story ties in with with uh, Akuma. And he's got good uh depth through difficulty. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. I got no health. Oh, 
shit! Why? Who would you put over again? Let me guess. Laura. Anyways, Kyle, thanks for the 13, bro. Hook on. Oral? So you named another old man. <laughs> nice. Oro is 100% at least going to be a cameo in Street Fighter 6. Oro is hype, Gen's hype, bro. Pulling up that waterfall kick, that shit's super hype. Do we, do we think we'll get Q? No. I don't think we'll ever see Q again. I think it ties into G's story somehow. Oh. This is tough. Hey, what's going on, Subby? I want I want Ingrid just to see you boys mad. Hey, I mentioned Ingrid. I said poor chance, but it's a chance. Ingrid. I still need to watch a video on seeing how that character plays. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to be talking about that roster, guys, for an entire year. You know what? I'm, now that I'm doing research on Street Fighter V and going back to the original videos, I'm starting to have a strong suspicion it might take longer than February. Don't jinx it. It's not a jinx, that would be like good for me. The longer it takes to release, the better for me. First of all. Especially if we get like a whole bunch of beta tests and shit, that'd be amazing. Plus, if Capcom takes the chance, maybe a beta test on the PC version for one day? What's the worst that could happen? Come on, Capcom. You can trust us. Just one day. Guys, what if they did come out on PC for one day, and then like day one Street Fighter 6 comes out, and you guys like watch me play, and I like just know all the characters and all the combos day one, would you guys be like sus? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. I played the beta. Just grinding the beta like eight hours a day. Just random select that shit day one. You caught kidding me. Talking about the roster for one year, copium. Yeah, that's mad copium. That's mad copium. That's air conditioner jacked with copium.
Better than talking about the Street Fighter 6 logo? True, true. But when Capcom makes the new Street Fighter 6 logo, then we have to talk about it. Vesper, do you think Street Fighter 6 will be a Sony exclusive again? No, absolutely not. If it wasn't Sony exclusive, they would have told us by now. Uh, just like with Street Fighter V, they, they announced that it was a Sony exclusive immediately. Uh, it would be beneficial for Sony to say it immediately because it would make people want to buy their consoles immediately. Dark Lord, thanks for the 23, bro. Uh, also, if you've been paying attention to the Capcom hacked emails, it already shows that Street Fighter 6 is for every platform. Except for the ones that can't run it. <laughs> It'll be on the Switch, mark my words. It's got a better chance of being on the fucking Steam Deck, dude. Oh, speaking of which... Uh, what's going on with the Steam Deck, guys? I haven't been paying attention to the news, I've been too busy with Street Fighter 6 bullshit. What's going on with Steam Deck? Like, what's the verdict right now? What's the word on the street? I haven't heard a fucking word about it. Fudge. I heard about the stick- Okay, someone finish that story for me. I heard there was stick drift. Then I heard there was a day one firmware update that fixed the stick drift, but then I'm hearing that it still didn't fix it. Can someone elaborate that story to me? What the hell happened? Is there still stick drift? Oh no, Lieutenant Dan. Since Retro's going out the window, would you be down to play some new version of Street Fighter 2 and Alpha that were fan-made? No. I want to still stick to games that actually are real. Because if I start playing fan-made games and mods and shit, it would be E-Trot land every day. I don't want that. You know that Akuma was a skinny little dude that looked like Tokido before and started working out and catching fish? Akuma still looks like Tokido because Tokido started working out and now he looks like Akuma. Did he just cross me up with the, the damn knee press? He never suggested any good however, I <laughs> suggest some great thing. Hey, I played some of those like mods. I played that Castlevania Doom mod you suggested. And the pirate one, I think, too. But I mean, like I said, we gotta We gotta concentrate here. I mean, we're obviously everyone's gonna want me to play that, that damn Metroid mod. You guys have been bugging me about it for years now. E Trot's a clown? By trade, yes. Yeah, AM2R. Oh my god. So remember how I said I want to see the ending for Dan and Akuma? Maybe I just want to see the ending for Akuma. Maybe I should just see the ending for Akuma and then go on YouTube and see it for Dan. That's what I think the play is going to be. God, it's so cold in my basement right now. I'm freezing, guys. Well, if you change your mind, it's just two games I've suggested. All right, I'll check it out. Yo, what's up, Scorn? Let's pop a lop in. Is 
just wait until I start suggesting games? Jesus, guys. Let me guess. A Sarah's Rat? I mean, I think we have to play it just because of the lore, you know? I don't know if I could play Bayonetta on stream. That game kind of makes me uncomfortable. Professor, did you see all the comments in your last video about Bayonetta 4? I did! I talked about it right at the start of the stream, it's so funny. I- it, it cracked me up, I was laughing so hard when I read the top comment. I thumbed it up, I gotta pin that shit. I gotta pin that comment, it's too legendary. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Vesper, guys, no guns in Street- no guns in Street Fighter 6! Also Vesper, add Bayonetta! <laughs> Like, I totally didn't even think about that. It's <laughs> so good. I was completely oblivious to it. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, I'm a complete wear clown on YouTube now. If I wasn't before, I definitely am now. Yeah, it's great. People weren't shit on the list as bad as I thought, though. Most people were, like, just giving their own opinions on what they want, you know? The other video, the one where I'm, like, I predicted the base or the, the roster for Street Fighter 6, like, what Capcom would choose. People were more offended by that video, you know? What do you mean Laura's not gonna be in the game? No twins? You know what I mean? Like, you'll get really sensitive to that shit. You know Bayonetta is in Capcom, right? Yeah, I mentioned it in the video. Or not in the YouTube video, but when I did it live. You can't have Street Fighter without Chun-Li. Not says Capcom. They're gonna replace Chun-Li with uh, Li Fen. She'll be exactly like Chun Li. Wow, that all comboed? Sick. Oh, come on, that would have been cool. Sup? What? Oh my god. Chew on this! Guys, why do my inputs come out better in this game than KOF? Explain me. I swear someone commented about giving the list of five on stream and having their message lead. Dude, no, it was Nod. He shot like six people that gave it a five. What the hell was that? Was that instant kill? It hit me three, four times. That was baloney. Oh, brutal, dude. Well, I was gonna say, uh, it was funny too. Someone in the YouTube comments said <laughs> after they gave uh, they gave the the chat gave me the scoring, they said uh, Vesper is number one with a smiley face. Yeah, that was super cheap. That was the level three super. Fuck, I thought it was because I fell into it and it did more hits than it should have. I don't know. I got destroyed though. That was like one hit kill. I gotta cheese them out, dude. Oh no. Holy cow. Don't kill me, please. Oh! 
Oh, reversal super is so dangerous. So I was telling you guys a little bit about that summer's game, summer game thing. And I'll probably make a video about this sometime in the future, but it turns out E3 is confirmed not to be offline this year. Surprise, surprise. It'll be online only. But Jeff Knightley is going to be doing his own E3 show called Summer Games 2022. And it'll be about around the same time as E3 because, you know, he had a falling out with E3. And he double tweeted Street Fighter 6. So. It's largely insinuating that they'll, they'll show us the footage on there because, you know. I'm sure the summer games will be bigger than uh, E3. And that's the same, it's around the same time. It'll be summer, so. Vesper mm. said, I want to see Blanca. I'm fucking out. Dude, there's there's some crazy cons. Someone like said, like, uh, I think, like, someone's like, oh, you know, they should have Laura. She has one of the most interesting character designs and arcs. And I'm like, there's no fucking way this person's a real person. There's no fucking way. This guy was, like, literally made as a fake account from my stream to piss me off. There's no fucking way that guy is real. That's what I said to myself when I saw that comment. This shit was bait. There's no fucking way. Yeah, dude, when you're thirsty, you say the most craziest shit. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, what? Dude, I was still in recovery. I tried doing a DP. Oh my god, so much damage. I never want to see all four of them. Don't worry, we won't. I ain't seeing that clown ever again. Fuck! I didn't mean to cancel that into the roll. Oh no! It's a banger! It's hey, Big Don, thanks for the 11, bro. Thanks for the almost one year of subs. Appreciate it. Nice. I'm just hoping the roster will be worth it, damn. Yeah, I mean, the beginning, the launch roster is very important, guys. It's very important. It gives them, like I said, some breathing room for the DLC. But I, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't see any reason to worry about it, guys. There's really no reason to worry about it. With the new leadership and them not rushing the game, like... I don't think there's anything really to worry about, honestly. Right. One sec, guys. We'll be right back. Damn, I come up the sweep from the jab? Sick. Uh, the, yeah, the, the Capcom esports thing is concerning, but uh, Capcom immediately uh, responded to it and they're in talks right now, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm sure they'll fix it up. If they didn't respond and we're in the dark, like the logo or whatever, then yeah, I'd be more worried. But if they're willing to communicate with the tournament organizers, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah, I mean, it could still go bad, but. 
Like I said, it's a it's an ongoing situation. If Capcom genuinely meant what they said when they wanted to unite the communities and streamline the process, then that's what they'll do. I mean, honestly, they can't really afford to bo have the tournament boycott them because CPT is completely dependent on the community running the tournaments for them, unless they want to go full online. So, I, like I said, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Let's not worry about something that hasn't happened yet. Well, the problem is they copy pasted a giant esports contract. Like, at the, if you guys look at the bottom of the contract or whatever, it literally says click accept, and there is no accept button. That means it was like literally copied and pasted from something else. You know, so it's like, it's like whatever. Hopefully, they'll fix it. Hey, there's Qua. Yeah, I'm trying to beat the game, Qua. I was playing Dan, and then I accidentally picked the Kuma. I don't know how. The chat thinks I'm lying, though. They think they thought I knew the code, and I just used it. But I, I honestly got them by mistake. I think it's because the random select thing you could potentially get a Kuma. That's what I think how I got them. I just got super lucky. Oh my god, free jump frames? Oh, every time I jump backwards, he can do super, dude. Yeah, and the chat's arguing about who should be in the game, as usual. We'll be talking about that for an entire year. Shit! Dude, look at that damage! Oh. Uh, I do, Quam. That's why I'm trying to beat the game. Nice. You know what a lot, another interesting thing, guys? Is I saw some comments complaining about not wanting the core Street Fighter 2 cast. I found that very amusing. I think that reeks of, like, vocal minority because... The game would be a disaster if it was just all new characters. Oh, that was clutch. That tats with the fireball clutch. 
Shit, dude, I gotta respect the, the reversal. Oh, he's got no meter though. I was about to say I gotta be careful jumping backwards, but he's barely got any meter. Nice. That was huge. Nice. That teleport, bro. Oh, why did you ground fireball, dude? Oh! Come on. Yes! Getting close to stun. No, oh, what the fuck was that? No! no! <laughs> oh. Fuck, that was the closest one we ever gotten. Oh. I choke. Yeah, and I got baited too. That too. Holy cow. Yeah, like I said, no more than than six new characters, man. Oh, that's bad news. Yeah, four to six is fine. How many total new characters does Street Fighter V have? Okay, four at launch. Then we had... Season 2 was Alex, Balrog, Jerry... Yurian... I don't think there's any new characters in Season 1. Season 2 we had Ed... Ed... But Abigail counts? I know he's a final fight character. But Abigail and Lucia are like new to be in Street Fighter. Pauline would be would count as a new character too. He would count as a new character. 14? That sounds fucking ridiculous. Shit, I should have did super. Yeah, I think Lucy and Abigail would count, too. I agree. It's just such a bad idea, man. You don't have to always have a bunch of new characters. I don't understand how that benefits at all. What does new characters do? What do they bring to the table? It doesn't, it doesn't make someone who doesn't play Street Fighter come to Street Fighter. That's for damn sure. The only thing it does is it creates an investment for the next game. That's all it really does. And it gives them, the designers, an opportunity to make a character that they want. So that's like a personal reason. Like, Jerry was a good investment, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the Street Fighter 3 characters, even though the series went under for like 10 years, was still a good investment. A lot of the Street Fighter 3 characters are now popular. But a lot of the Street Fighter 3 characters were like copy-paste like characters of like different characters already in the game. 
That's why the most popular ones are the ones that are unique. Like Yurian and Ibuki. Nice. Oh, God, don't get baited, please. Oh my god, I tried to sweep him. If I was just an unfun game all around, the best Street Fighter. Peak Street Fighter. Yeah, adding some new moves would be cool. That'd be funny if they got rid of Ryu's donkey kick again. <laughs> Is fun. I mean, yeah, old fighting games are fun, but if you play them in a competitive level online or when you play them in depth like we play the games now, they might not be fun anymore. Sometimes ignorance is bliss on that, and sometimes your nostalgia just takes control. But Street Fighter V is still doing very well. And if the game was as whack as some people say, I mean, they wouldn't watch it either. But people watch it. People play it, and it's over six years old, and it has higher numbers than game some games that just came out. And you can't just say, "Oh, it's Street Fighter," because hey, we beat him. If evil has a name, wait, why? Why is it going so fast? Holy cow, this is going so fast. <gasps> Who's that, guys? Who's that? I can't see him. Who's that? That's cool. Akuma isn't evil? He's misunderstood. Best to stop botting those Street Fighter Five numbers on Steam. You're pumping up, Copium, bro. Everyone always brings up Steam numbers for their favorite games, but then when I do it for Street Fighter Five, Copium, it becomes an option to select all of a sudden. We're talking about a game that is only on two platforms. That's like unplayable online. Still, two thousand players, constant. Six years. I don't know how many times to point that out. Six years, dude. And it's not just because of the Street Fighter IP, because a game like Street Fighter Cross Tekken literally bombed and failed in less than six months. 
that I had one of the greatest fighting game rosters of all time. Still flopped. Your precious Marvel? Don't even get me started on that. You know how big Marvel is? No game is safe, man. Street Fighter Cross Second did not die because of tag style. It died for many reasons. And not one of them had to do with anything about the tag. It died because of gems. It died because of DLC practices. It died because of netcode. It died because of balance. And die because of the timer. But it had nothing to do with being tag. I know because I covered the damn game. I covered the game until it died. And Ono was warned almost half a year in advance. He was warned, bro. They told him. People were were able to play cross Tekken guys like half a year before release, and they warned them about the gems. But the warning was not heeded, and yeah, you know how that went. Anyways, where's Qua? Qua, are we playing? Pandora mode actually became really strong in the later life of cross Tekken. It was, it was not bad for comeback mechanics. Usually comeback mechanics are really cheap, but that one was okay. <sighs> Cheeks. I wonder if it's because I'm playing Akuma. It's I can't do it. Nice. I have to press like five inputs within a second. So it's tough. I don't think I can do it because I have Akuma. Let me um pick another character, get blasted. And then if as long as I'm not on the random select, maybe I can pick Dan. We'll see. The storyline of Pandora was really weird. It was very strange. But yeah, like I think the story of Cross Tekken is just a story of greed and incompetence. Like, the two biggest blunders was the DLC practices and the gem system. The DLC practices would have not have met bad flack on cross on the casual side, and the gem system would have not given bad flack on the competitive side. Those two things really hurt it. And it was like a giant... Um, butterfly effect because because no one wanted to do the gem system use the gems because it would be a logistical nightmare for tournaments for everyone to pick their gems every match uh, the game was not being played properly because you're supposed to equip gems your character is supposed to do a lot more damage because there's like power gems and things like that right because characters weren't doing enough damage we had problems because uh We're getting a lot of timeouts because we weren't doing enough damage. That's when we had the Rolento cross timeout problems. So it kind of just really snowballed out of control. Shit. Damn, dude. Maybe I'm doing the code wrong. It's possible. I told L2 and it should be... Well, maybe you have to start with Triangle. Damn it. 
Yeah, it was. He had to start a triangle. Okay, my bad. We're good now. Crisis averted. Yeah, Street Fighter Cross Tekken had definitely the best CGI trailers. Definitely. That first CGI trailer is so fucking good, dude. Round one. Fight. Wait, why am I fighting Sonom? Anyways, uh... Yeah, the budget was blown on the trailer. That's definitely an Ono thing, for sure. The game was promoted very well. It was like... I'm sure upstairs in Capcom, that game was a slam dunk. A complete slam dunk. No, we can play right now, Claw. I could just pop the sands anyways. And then I could just continue it after. Yeah. It was a slam dunk, dude. I'm sure when Ono pitched the gem idea, I was like, oh man, think about the DLC potential. Dude, the DLC costumes for Cross Tekken were absolutely insane. Every character, they had... Oh my god, dude. They had Tekken and Street Fighter crossover costumes and the, the craziest costumes you ever see for every single character. It was a slam dunk, dude. It was a slam dunk. Oh, wait. So that's the last boss for me, for Dan. Do I know you? Years ago. You killed my father. Now it's your turn. Ah, him. He cost me an eye. <clears throat> Spoilers. Now I will have revenge on his son. He cost me my eye. The Lord. But yeah, uh, another thing too, guys, is that Capcom spent a huge budget fixing Cross Tekken. Like, they fixed so many things about the game, that, that giant patch, but it didn't come out until months later. And the game was dead by then. And it kind of like... I'm sure Capcom will never forget about that. And I think that give, makes them reluctant to, to change certain things, because they might not think it's worth it. That was a huge risk trying to fix the game too. But didn't pay off, so. Did MVCI live longer? No. MVCI was the fastest dead game there was. Man. The fastest. Dude, Cross Tekken made it to Evo. We never even saw MVCI at Evo, bro. The game was so dead so fast. It was instant dead. It was dead on arrival. It was fighting EX Lair. It was like Samurai Showdown dead. Just instant death. That game had no chance. It got so much bad press before it even got released. Oh. There's just no way. Disney killed it? I don't know. I wouldn't shift all the blame on Disney. Okay, cool. Let me hop in voice here. Hey. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? So do I need do I need to go in parsec? Yeah, probably. Right, give me get one more attempt here, try to beat Sigat. I'll be right back. I mean, I I still think, guys, if they had the characters like Fantastic Four and X Men, all that, I still think the game would have failed, guys. It was a large part of that for sure, but 
the game had more problems than its roster. I mean, the game looked almost as bad as KLF 15. And the system, I know some people like how the system worked, but the whole reality stone thing. And not to mention, when you have deals with that, it's just like those games, like... It's so hard to update them, right? Because they have to go through this huge approval process, and it's just... It just won't be taken care of as well, you know? That has this cool chain con where you can go light punch uh, medium. You can go fireball. Shit. Oh, I tried to be super there. I'll try. It's okay, try. I popped this answer. Let me hop on Parsec. Okay. I don't know, I, I hate MVC3, but I love watching tournaments on MVC3. Because it's, it's such a good game. It's such a hilarious game to watch, and, and the pros get so salty playing it. It's very entertaining to watch. Yeah, it's funny. It's way more entertaining than DBZ, for sure. I love watching yeah. MVC3. And MVC3 made me, like, like quit YouTube for, like, two years. Because I was so salty about that game. Yeah, that was, like, your most... And uh, your most... Uh, Anticipated game. game? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a big one. Like, I wanted to do a big tutorial on it and everything. And, like I said... MVC2 is my all-time favorite fighting game, so I'm like, MVC3 is just like the dream. I can't wait to do tutorials on it, and then we got the game. And, uh, oh, sad days. Wait, what's going on? Where's team hey, battle? Lo uh, load the state. Oh, yeah. Shit. You load it, or you save it? I loaded it, but, okay, yeah, I guess we just watch the Dan ending on YouTube. It's not a big deal. Oh wait, I, I mean, just load it again. Yeah, you can just load it after we're done. Right. Genius. Genius. Yeah, you don't get beat up. He doesn't avenge his dad, unfortunately. Not yet. Now who is the strongest? Fish. I need a... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ass. You probably have to sign your buttons. Oh, yeah, maybe. You can just go to button config. Yeah, there's one. It's really good in the options. The training mode is actually not bad in this game, too. Yeah. It doesn't show the damage, though, which is weird. What? It doesn't show the damage. Like, when you hit them, oh. the health bar, bar literally doesn't go down. It's weird. Oh. Best for yeah, pros are quitting DBZ because the new meta is terrible for competitive. Yeah, I heard Kappa talking shit about that. That's really yeah. too bad. I mean, even oh, though I don't like... Oh, it's not here. Oh. It? Right, is because it... I loaded the state after I, uh... Because it was before I beat the game so I could see Dan's ending. Fuck, dude. So you gotta be with Dan. I gotta... Well, I don't have to be with Dan, but I should be, be with Dan. Okay. I'll try not to screw up. Oh, it's okay, I'll just watch. I'm, I'm gonna mute myself for the meeting. Alright, alright. Go ahead. How's he not stunned, dude? Tiger. 
Oh man. Oh no. Come on, fierce uppercut doesn't work. You do. Should just did target combo then. Or super. No. Shit, I got hit by trip right there. Fuck, that did so much damage. Oh my god, what was that? Freaking super. 1-2 combo. Uppercut, please. Damn it, dude. Ah. I had such a good start. Have I got a chance to get good in the Street Fighter EX series? I was pretty young at the time. I didn't own a PlayStation. I just played Street Fighter EX at my friend's house and all I played was Trials. Street Fighter EX is awesome, but I don't think uh, people liked it much. Because, uh, you know, my sprites. My sprites. If that game had online function, it'd be hilarious, because that game is insanely broken. But it had some cool stuff. It had linking. It was, like, ahead of its time, dude. It had a lot of cool mechanics and shit. Oh, he caught me on startup frames, my sweep. Just couldn't see it. Oh, dude. Oh, bro, meaty uppercut. No. Yes. Uh, Capcom stuck to their guns and they still continued because they they needed to cash out on that CPS2 engine, right? But you know, Capcom still did 3D games. They they did rival schools and they did uh, you know Power Stone and shit. You know, they weren't. It wasn't like they completely avoided it. They tried Street Fighter EX, didn't work out so well. Then they heavily invested in Street Fighter 3 and made a, a terrible decision to have it all new characters. Pack calls risk takers, man. I'll give them that. They're risk takers. Like, they're not afraid of creating new IPs and new engines and shit. Capcom. They don't play it safe, bro. They really don't. Sometimes it pays off, like Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil 7. Sometimes it doesn't pay off, like Resident Evil 6. But they take big risks. Shit, bro. No! What's the deal with Dark Souls? Is this new collection coming out testing ground for like last time? No, I think that's all bullshit. I think Dark Stalkers die with Ono. Dude, there, there's. I hate talking about this over and over, but there is no one to work on Dark Stalkers right now. The entire team is on Street Fighter Six. Like, who's gonna make it? Then there's no point to it. What is what what is it gonna bring to the table? Like from Capcom's perspective, what is it gonna bring? Why do they need two fighting games? It just doesn't make sense. You know how like to make Dark Soccer's, they would have to use RE Engine. If they do that, it just they would need a big team. It would require a lot of work. It'd be many years. There's no way that they can keep that under wraps. It just it's just silly. 
It doesn't make any sense. And then another thing is like, I think holding the fans hostage by saying, hey, get this so we can tell if we're gonna buy Dog Stalkers is also bullshit. I just don't like it. But Capcom said nothing on it, you know, we can't just assume. You know, if Ono tweeted out, hey, show your love for doctors by getting the Capcom collection, prove to Capcom, like he did last time or whatever, then yeah. But they didn't say shit about it. I mean, yeah, I guess they can have an anime fighter niche, but... I, like, I don't think Capcom sees different fighting niches. They just see fighting game genre. Street Fighter. That's how they see it. Like, and on top of that, like, even if Darkstalkers was successful as Street Fighter, it's still small potatoes to them. Like, Resident Evil is way bigger. Monster Hunter is bigger than everything combined. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just, I don't see it. Unless Capcom outsources it. If they want to outsource it, then I'm sure Darkstalkers won't be as good as everyone would want it to be. And you guys would be pissed off anyways. Resident Evil guys are still salty in the Street Fighter 6 announcement? Yeah. Guys, I came back to a Dark Soccer's talk just to let it go. I know. Just let it go, guys. Just let it go. It's dead. It's dead. Like I said, if Ono was still a Capcom, I would I could still believe like you guys do. But now that Ono's gone, I know it's dead. If he couldn't pitch it, no one can. It's just that's just how it is, man. That was like his most passionate thing. Ono wanted Dark Soccer so badly. But they they turned him down, dude. They greenlit Street Fighter 6 instead. And Street Fighter 6 is bigger than just sales. There's more to it than that. This whole esports thing is very important to Capcom because it helps advertise their other franchises. Like Monster Hunter and DMC and Resident Evil. Darkstalkers doesn't do that. Unless they want Darkstalkers to go esports, but I don't see that either. So. Ono was done wrong? Wait, what? What is that? Whether he was done wrong or not, I mean, like I said, I think it's time to pass on the torch, dude. Ono had a crazy ass legacy. You know, he was with Capcom way before, like, even Street Fighter 4 started or Fighting Jam. That's only when he started becoming a producer. He was with the company for a long time. I think it's safe to say after a decade we should pass the torch. Get some new eyes on the project. Yeah, try to do super. Peace. Hey, I came back just in time. Yeah, man, I just did it. I need to see his ending. Yeah. See him avenge his father. Yay. I made it, Dad. 
Oh yeah, gee. Sagat is gone, and you can rest. Nothing can touch me now. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Who the heck are you? What? Bison said my name is on boring. What? Bison recruits Dan? He beats a gut. You're a little late, pal. I'm already there. Whoa! <laughs> You'll regret your decision. Uh oh. Bison got salty and he left. What the I've never seen that ending. Funny enough. <laughs> That's crazy. That was a cool ending. I don't know if he had a, a, an, an ending in Arcade 1. Alright, well, let's do this shit. You know, yeah. back then, guys, I, I, I thought Dark Soccer's was gonna come out before Street Fighter 6. Just as a test bed for the RE engine to see if it works well for fighting games. I thought that's what Capcom was gonna do. I really did. But, you know, here we are. Just let the franchise die, guys. It's okay. Marvel's dead. Dark Soccer's dead. Time to turn the page. Street Fighter will die soon, too. Okay. <laughs> Street Fighter's forever. Alright, there we go. Team mode. Let's do it. Oh, I'm popping sounds just in case I screw up again. Alright, oh, yeah, let's set up your buttons. Oh, right. Alright, alright. Put on hardest. Sure. Oops. Yeah, I'm good. Did it save? Uh huh. Alright, max difficulty. Do it. Oh, we gotta change the speed too. Because uh, I have it on free. Turn it to turbo 2. Okay. Or you want it on turbo 1? It doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Wait, aren't we supposed to fight Bison? Oh, oh there it is. What's it's going really on? really weird how they programmed it. <laughs> you are worthy fighters, and, I, and I, I heard this was inspired from the anime. Yeah, this is straight from an anime fight. Uh, the Street Fighter anime. That's really cool. The movie, I mean, sorry. The one where you see Chun-Li naked. I, I like the part where Ken's like, legs aren't working or something. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, like, like, he's like... Anime. They coming out of the, the psychotherapy. Yeah. And he's like, like envisioning his master and stuff. And he's like, yeah, it's really cool. Holy fuck, he's Wait, how are we asses. losing? It's two versus one. Come on, help me. We share, we share the same life bar. Oh. So if he hits us both, that's like double damage. Oh, cheeks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh. oh, let's do it. Level 3! Hadouken! Oh my god, he oh, mashed super. Oh shit! <laughs> no one a, this is a lot thing. harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. That was such a sick fight in the anime too, so cool. Yeah, so you fight him in the, in the field. Nine. Yeah, Guile blows up Honda's house. And then Balrog and Honda, they roll off a mountain. They're like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that enemy is so good, man. I've watched oh, it so many times, too. And it's still going to get boring. I still watch the... It's like the more the Long movie. fight. You start watch what? The Fei Long fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in case you guys don't know, uh, Brian Cranston voiced Fei Long in the, in the English dub. Get pretty good out there for Fei Long. Alright, let's try and fire this. Oh my god, my yeah. support. Oh my god, he teleported everywhere. Ah! Good. Ah, infinite. 
Infinite? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to do super to finish it off. No, I'm sorry, Guam. Don't worry. I don't know. Okay. I think, did we win? Yeah. What a chump. We did win two rounds, right? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't talk shit yet. Then. All right, we have to beat him without being cheap. All right, I'll do it again. That's kind of cheap too. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, Zordon and shit. I missed completely. Uh -oh. Lit. Lit I got the Tatsu bubble. Oh! oh my god, he threw you. He teleported died. through me, man. I'm Tatsu. Oh my god, he's cuz. That's trick tricking us. Four bites. <laughs> Why do you feel so much for Bison? He's cheating. Oh, I got him. Oh, what the heck? Nice. I think he teleported back because I threw a fireball and went back to your super. Yeah, a lot of help. Yeah, he does. Oh, I hit him when he was hitting him. Oh my god, that's so much guys. Oh no! <laughs> Just super out of my box string. We should have this mode in more fighters, honestly, nowadays. Oh, dude, yeah, of course. There's a lot of cool features, especially from the Alpha series that they could put in the newer games. I know. It's like we didn't have the technology back then, but now we do. Mm -hmm. I guess that's, that's what they do with Granblue, right? What? The, like they have adventures on 2D fighting, you know. It's like you like do you like moving like in, in like a like a final fight stage, you know what I'm saying? Like a mm -hmm. like 2D side scroller. Yeah. But you but you doing like uh, fighting game motions. Right. They could yeah they could have something like that. That'd be really sick. Yeah, they did that for ground blue. Oh right. I, I never I saw it. Good. I never saw it, but I heard it. I, I, I saw a little picture of it, but I didn't watch videos. Yeah, look at that game show. <laughs> it, it fell down its own echo. Oh my god. I heard about that. Yeah, it's almost like the Nepo uh, had is. Yes. <laughs> almost like. It's actually hard. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't beat him, uh, so he's just super <laughs> he, he does reversal super a lot. Yeah, wait for super. Like this. Nice. Oh, oh shit, he leaves. How is he not stunned from that? Oh, nice. You got the air on the anti. Nice. <laughs> oh, he got kicked in the face. That's a sick ad here. <laughs> you cover all the bases. <laughs> it was a sick ad there. It's amazing. If Ryu had three legs, he'd be able to do something like that. <laughs> it's crazy how many features we used to have, man. That's right, why when remember Street Fighter 4, even that had a lot of shit. Yeah, Street Fighter 4 had so much stuff in it. Street Fighter 4 had a lot of stuff, dude. But guys, and maybe Street, Street Fighter 6 will. You never know. Street Fighter 5 didn't, I can tell you that. Yeah, my game was rushed. <laughs> That's the problem. Command lobby mode. Oh, got him. Ah. Oh, oh god, we always get hit by the damn super. I'm dead. I'll cover you. Okay, I'll cover you. Oh, oh. oh, I tried to slip it. Oh, oh such a good comeback. But... Damn. He's jumping all over the place in the scrub. By the way, guys, like, 
You know, in terms of bringing back certain franchises back to the dead and stuff, Street Fighter EX Lair, you know, you know I talk shit about it. Being dead and stuff, it is one of the best, like, one of the best stories. Like, it is pretty heartwarming to, like, have an April Fool's Day joke and then have the fans like it so much and they made the game exist, you know? Through their support. I made sure to buy the game to support oh, it. I the same idea. That's what we want, man. I think that's I think that's super cool. It's a way better story than like Bike Pack on Fighters because it has Dark Soccer games and maybe we'll get Dark Soccer. Like, there's no passion in it. They killed it with the Gogi system? Well, they weren't trying to make a balanced fighter. It was all about fun. It wasn't supposed to be competitive. That was the point. Like, the Gogi system made it... <laughs> made it insane. The Street Fighter EX games were insane too. Oh, They were insanely broken. It was just about fun, man. For better or for worse. <laughs> Did you play that game? Bunny X Lair? Yeah. Yeah, I played it once. Once? Just yeah. once? Yeah. I couldn't find it's any more matches. Dead. Yeah. It was so dead. No, Fighting EXR was not made by Capcom. It was made by, uh. Because they made a deal with, uh, Kira or the company. Or Arika. Sorry, Arika, not Arika. Arika. Not the movie. That's why, that's why, uh. That's why the Street Fighter EX series has all these new characters, it's because they were from Arika. And that's why those characters were in Fighting EX Lair and you don't see Street Fighter characters. They were separate. I don't know the story though on how uh, uh, Arika and, and Capcom uh, joined forces. I don't know the story behind that. But when we finally do play the Street Fighter DS game, which should be soon, I'll do my research because I'm interested in that story. Oh, we're out super. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to end it like the movie. We have to throw fireballs. Yeah, we so got hit by a double fireball. fireball. Okay, ready? One, two, yeah. three. Okay, uh, one, two, three. Okay, come oh. on, just do a break. <laughs> We're gonna die. We're gonna die. No! Ah! We almost died. That didn't happen in the movie. <laughs> Technically, we didn't lose it. This is still like the halfway fight point. Bitch. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, bumble up it. <laughs> oh. What did you love to do? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. I jumped backwards because I saw you had two levels still. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Why do you want to play this on full styles again? Fuck. <laughs> it takes like no damage. Yeah. Oh shit. Round one. Oh, fuck cover. Oh, <laughs> <Thank you, Master. laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, 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 nice. Good deeps. I kicked him and you defeated. Mm -hmm. 
Stop it. <laughs> I'm checking both of us. No! Uh, he smashed it, dude. <laughs> it's okay, now he has no super. Yeah, and plus, sorry. I tried to super Be careful, he's got meter again. Ah. Nice. Watch out, super. Uh oh. Uh, he still has it. He's gonna do it a thousand percent. He's dead. Oh! He... Oh! Oh! Double fireball. We had that to was good. Move that was good. And cannon. Look at that. There Look at go. the symmetry. You can That's frame it. this on your wall. That was perfect. Frame it. Frame it Tuesday. Mm -hmm. You fought well. I was honored. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. That was fun. Cool. No ending. GG's. That was fun. GG's. I'll see I'll you see. later. Yeah, see you. <laughs>
I like the old stages. The old stages had a lot of character too. Oh wait, I have to re-challenge yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You, you gotta put your quarter up. Oh no. We have to take everyone back to 95. Or wait, to, I wanna or play Sodom. So I was gonna beat your ass at this character. Sodom? How do you play him? I have no clue how to play this city. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like a mix of being charge grappler and he has like normal moves too. I can't I do he, anything. <clears throat> I don't know. I think he has a half circle. I mean quarter circle back. I Wait, haven't found one, one move yet, guys. Try to try charge moves. I did. Nod says try, he's not charge. Try uh, three sixty moves. He has Rekka's? First, you have my curiosity. Alright. Uh... Okay, I found him. He's got a DP punch. Oh my god. Yeah. DP. Oh my god, you're right. He has two 360 moves. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> he has oh. even more complicated moves than the other ones. Jesus. Whee. This character is crazy. <laughs> but no one wants him. But no one wants him. Well, Kakon won him for a second. <laughs> for a second. So, he has apparently OTG moves. Yeah, so it's really weird. Yeah, I'm crying through my mask. <laughs> so, like, I don't know how it works. I think it's like, you can do a move as you're, like, getting up. Or as you're, like, rolling. And you can do it uh, when I'm on the ground too, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is like scary. this character was designed specifically for like this game. Yeah, like this is an alpha character. <laughs> Whatever alpha is. Yeah. How do you guys roll? Oh. Wee wee. What a weird character. You gave me another scar in my chest. So in in high level, like who's top tier in this game? Uh, I don't think anyone plays this game. <laughs> that can't be true. No Dude, one I'm, plays it, this game. I, I watch Japanese footage of like arcade stuff all the time, and I haven't seen like I barely see Alpha One footage. Roy says he's playing it right now. Yes, he is. <laughs> no, you're not, Roy. You're spectating the match. How can you be playing and spectating at the same time, asshole? Oh yeah. Shit. Oh my god. Look at that damage. Alpha Two killed this game. I'm playing along. Uh, wait, when did Alpha, wait, Alpha 2 just came out next year, right? Yeah, it came out the very next year, they're like, It does Alpha seem, 2. this game does seem a little bare bones. Yeah, it's a beta, everyone says it's a beta version of Alpha 2, pretty much. Really? Like, they had, like, they had a good foundation set, but it seemed like, hey, we, uh, we're gonna need another year, let's just release it now and make some money. Yeah, exactly. And then they're like, I guess, I don't know, they were, this is on, this was on CPS 1 too, I remember. And then they think they came out with TPS2 the next year? I don't know, I might be getting my facts mixed up. Mm -hmm. So, I guess they wanted to test test the limits of the of the system first. Oh, yeah, I, I gotta put my, <laughs> my coin. Oh, Birdie? Birdie. You're gonna make me cry like Tokido? Yeah, I'm gonna make you cry. And you're gonna nerf me. I don't even know what this guy's moves are. Oh man, it's Street Fighter V. Best characters are Ken and Akuma. Next are Rose and Guy. I don't know, man. I don't see Sodom. Boy. What's the best al uh, Street uh, Alpha game? Uh, it's very mixed. It could be Alpha 2 or Alpha 3. Really? Interesting. Yeah. So they're different games? They're completely different games. Whoa. Alpha 2, Alpha 2 is more like basic, and Alpha 3 has more crazy stuff. Did they remove the heart from Birdie's head in later releases? I don't remember it. I think it's on his, his classic costume, isn't it? Is it? In 5? Yeah. Right? I don't know. I can, I can block your air normals? Yeah. That's so scrubby. <laughs> it was a defining thing for the Alpha series. 
But uh, you still you still can't like jump around though, because like uh, there's still like uh, air unblockables, right? Mm -hmm. Which game was it the one where uh, you start off with full super bar? That's Alpha Three. That's really weird. What do you guys think about that? Starting off with full meter. I think it's kind of. Doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> That's why they stopped doing it. That doesn't sound good at all. Like, dude, imagine Street Fighter Five. You start the round, then Yurian does. He just starts the round with the EX tackle, and he activates V trigger, and you're like, "Well, I guess I'm fucked." <laughs> you would literally not even be able to jump out of that. Sounds yeah. godlike. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It would work if the game was a little crying. more sillier. You can tell, uh, like, this game is like. A beta game too, because like every character has like shares a stage, you know. So like uh, Ken and Ken and Charlie share a stage. Uh, yeah, Birdie the and stage is the same, stage. but it just has different crowd of people. It's just different different things in in each person's stage. Are, do, are these stage come back in Alpha Two? Uh, do they no. come back? No. Oh okay. I I love I use stage in this game. I think that's the best stage. Oh the the marketplace. Yeah, the marketplace. Yeah, marketplace is cool. I don't like even though this game is a beta and even though I'm a Street Fighter shill, uh, this game is still pretty fun. You know why? Because it's got that why? Street Fighter feeling. I feel like Street Fighter? You just love how Street Fighter feels, man. I'm yeah. telling you guys. I think we can all agree that like the the feel of Street Fighter just feels so good. Oh! Oh sick. That doesn't feel good though. Oh my god, that's almost... What kind of cheap super is that? That's a grab. Well, <laughs> what's, what's the game where I'm seeing Zangief, like, he headbutts forward and then he flies, like, across the entire screen? <laughs> that's Alpha 3. Oh, shit. <laughs> so if you, like, if you like that kind of stuff, then you like Alpha 3. I don't know if I do like that kind of stuff. Then maybe you like Alpha, Alpha, Alpha 3. Well, maybe does Ken have his role in the... Oh, he does! Yeah. Oh, ready for is this? Oh, one... you can hit me? What? Yeah, not, it's not invulnerable. <laughs> oh, it's not like KOA. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh no! Wow, that did so much damage. Combo into uppercut. First hit of standing medium kick. Nope. I'm no boba. Okay. Hmm. Street Fighter 5 feels like Street Fighter more than any other of the main games besides one. Well, like, ever since Street Fighter 4, there were some really key differences they made to the Street Fighter series. Like, first, the hit stun of jumping attacks. That's a big one. Like, you know, like, Street Fighter wasn't like that, where you, like, yeah, there's jumping combos, but, like, when you land a jumping heavy in, like, Street Fighter 4 or 5, you have 10 years. To do whatever the hell you want and confirm you're so insanely plus it's ridiculous if you play like street fighter 3 or something you actually have to have some timing to do the jumping calls it's not free and the amount of damage you can do in jumping combos really and then the whole linking thing linking linking bro i mean street fighter like street fighter 5 still kept that it's easier to do but they still kept it dude yeah you know, where a, a Nash can dash in on you, do his crouching fierce, and then link a medium and then special or whatever, you know, it's like a lot different. Yeah. There's a lot of changes. And like I said, Street Fighter 6 is a mystery. There's a lot of people still convinced that, uh, that Street Fighter 6 will have an install system because of, uh, the ending of the teaser, I think it's going a little overboard, but the ending of the teaser shows them powering up or whatever, right? They skill. I just... <laughs> installs looks like it's the way to go, but, you know, obviously I would want... If there's installs, I'd want the installs to uh, be able to choose what install you get or something, you know? It'd be easier to implement than, like, uh, having a unique key skill for each person, you know? Yeah. Like, everyone has a bus? Yeah. Let's say there was like three installs, guys, that you can have for your character. What what would they be? 
One would be like more damage, probably. Like Xism or whatever. The K group. <laughs> It'd be like your character would be like blown up, just pure damage. The only problem is, you know, Capcom's probably like, oh man, should we add like an Aism to the game? That just completely breaks the game. That's the only problem. The skill gap becomes too big. They would never add that again. I hope whatever team mechanic they have. Yeah, man, I'm really curious about that. No team mechanic, please. Well, they already we already know there is one. There is. Well, yeah. Well, the, well, we knew about it two years ago, so they could have changed it by now. Uh huh. They said it didn't work well. Of course, it's Street Fighter. Or hold on, it wasn't received well. That was what they said. And that's that's that was Ono's idea, the team mechanic. Fucking Ono. And then that's when Ono decided to leave. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Subby? Yeah, Ono wanted it. And and if you guys look at the history of Ono's games, he obviously wanted it for a while. Uh, Pack Home Fighting Jam, you pick multiple characters. It's not a team, but you do pick multiple characters. What the hell's going on? I can't even do anything. And uh, <laughs> Street Fighter Cross Tech and Team. Like, Ono has been wanting team for a while. He's been pushing it. I guarantee you guys, guarantee if Dark Sock, if Ono was able to make Dark Sockers like he wanted to, he would have made that a team game. Thousand percent. Positive. One thousand percent. A thousand percent. He would have made it a team game, guys. And I would have hated him for it. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. The, the chat's asking about your name. My name is a, a play on uh, my uh, Steam uh, Twitch name. <laughs> Wait, why can't I do Soul Spiral? I don't think she has it in this game, dude. <laughs> Wait, look. My buttons are exactly the same, just one has a spark and one doesn't. See, that's how you know this game is a beta. So they can't make different normals. <laughs> that's really strange. Oh man, she has the heavy kick? It's not even a command normal in this game. Oopsies. Oh, her sweep doesn't even go nearly as far. Look, hold on, it's going right in front of my toes. Look, it's not even hitting you. What is Yo, that? Oh, it's 3 5 5? Yeah, look, it's 3 5 5. Oh. You, you're even able to step close. Okay, what do I have then? Okay, I got a fireball. You have reflect too. Oh, I can. Oh. Do you have reflect? Uh, yeah, you yeah, I do. It's core, it's, is it core circle or half? No, it's core circle. Uh, each button corresponds Whoa! to the Oh, we can reflect it upwards? That, oh. that builds your meter. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. Her slide <laughs> is really good. Slide. And she got one that reflects it horizontally too. Uh, oh, yeah, there's six buttons. Yeah, six buttons. <laughs> six buttons. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing KOF? Okay. Ah, oh, how did you know? You are gonna jump. <laughs> I'm over. I'm over. Do you know how to do level 3s, dude? You know how to do level 3s? Yeah, three buttons? Yeah, three buttons. I just can't can do it on controller. <laughs> you can macro it in, in FK. You can? You can make a 3 kick button? Yeah, cool. just press F5. Let's do that. Press uh, F5? Uh, go all the way down. Yeah. Oh, just like um, in the arcade. Just like in the arcade. Yeah. Oh, now in... here we go, guys. Now I'm at full power. Yeah. <laughs> now you can do your your. your, your Wait, how do I do stuff. my supers? Of course, I go forward twice. I think with punch. No, it's not. Try kick. Oh, it is. Wait, what? Oh, that's her anti-air one. Oh, I think hers just has to go forward twice. Maybe. Or has to come back twice? I'm not Athena. Core circle back kick twice. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> mouse cursor on Oh, sorry! Chat's getting OCD. I left the mouse cursor and it's gonna go nuts. The mouse cursor! Is it else? Is this, is this move cheap in this game? Uh, no. Immersion. No. She's cheaper in part two. For sure. It's it's core circle uh, four with kick. <gasps> What's that? That's Canadian. So oh. what you do is you activate that and then you start sliding like a madman. Mm -hmm. And then you start, or you start jumping in like a madman. Cool. Yeah, sick. Whoa! Sick. Yeah. How does it do so much damage? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Rose is cheap in this game. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Ouch. Oh no. 
Oh no. Can you tech throws in this game? Yeah, you just teched it. It's a tech bonus. So you, you soften throws, you don't oh, actually. Oh, you can't tech. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Guys, we need to do a we need to do a live video with my brother on how Willie says he has the ideas on how to finally fix throws for Street Fighter. My God, finally we have to. Throws. I told him not to tell me because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. I'm like, <laughs> we gotta do this live. We, I... He says the only bad thing about Street Fighter is the throws, <laughs> and he yeah, won't listen to reason. Right. He says if they remove throws from Street Fighter, he said it'd be easily the best fighting game. So. I gotta hear his idea on how he's gonna fix it. It's <laughs> just amazing. Willie's obsession with throws, man. I keep on asking my brother, I'm like, hey, well, what happens if the guy just blocks? <laughs> I'm like, what if they just block, man? <laughs> Can you pick Dan? Just is Dan up. in this game? I keep, people keep asking me to play Dan. Dan is... I think he is in this game. We need a call. If I see him, I'll play him. Block Fighter 5. I don't know what the code is to take that in this. By the so way, nice. thanks for all the subs again, guys. Sorry, I couldn't even thank you guys during that video. Thonebone, BMAC, and Dark Requiem. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Shit. Dan looks like Steven Seagal. I see a lot of people posting those those memes about Steven Seagal. If it was Street Fighter 6 Dan, that's what he would look like. But I guess they're talking about this game. That's the RE engine. They use Steven Seagal as the actor. Oh my god. Whoa! Uh, oh my god. Okay. Push me in the corner and you cross me up. See, my brother would be like, See? You don't need throws. That's what Willie would say right there. <laughs> Willie's obsession with throws. Like, Willie really doesn't like the idea of, like... Willie doesn't like the idea of being thrown and then thrown again. And I'm trying to explain to him that, like, that's not free. But it happens so quickly, right? Because yeah. I, another reason is the, the dashes in Street Fighter Five are just too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they need to tone down the dashes, man. The dashes are too nuts. Or if they want to keep it the same speed, like, if you guys like that third strike throw speed, or dash speed, sorry, they need to make the startup frames move the character and then the later frames are after they complete their dash. They gotta make it reactable. That's what they gotta do. <laughs> In theory, it's supposed to be. I see no Dan. Yeah. There's no Dan. You gotta do it, Cole. Shit. It's the same, the same with the Puma. Go to the random select. Does it matter which one? No, There's I don't two think of them. so. Wait, uh, are you, you're a second player, so go on the second one. Oh, I can't go on yours. Yeah, I, I reset Okay. It. Yeah, go ahead and reset. Okay. I see a bunch of codes. Okay. <laughs> Loading the game, bro. They're all written, everyone's wrote it in different ways. I've seen this thing so much. Okay. Okay. Go. I have to challenge, right? Okay. Enter. Light kick. Oh, go to the random uh... box and hold start. Okay. And then. Light. What? <laughs> Wait. You do the inputs within a single second, or I'll pick someone random. What? What? Guys, that's so, I, I'm that's so on hard. pad. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Yeah, I can't do that on pad either. Yeah, it's tough. Okay, hold on. Let me look at this. What buttons do I have to press? Like kicks? You need to do it on sick, dude. There's no way. Yeah, you're right. I would need all the buttons on the surface of the controller. Yeah, yeah. there's no way. You can play, Dan. You can do it. Uh, let me hook up my, my pad, uh, my sick then. Oh, you're playing on pad? I was not bad. I was giving you a handicap. No, I'm a joystick player, but it's a long story. Basically, to summarize, I'm a joy. I've always been a joystick player. Uh but I gave away all my joysticks to Kwa, who I'm playing against right now. I only so have good. like one left, but my brother's using it upstairs, and I'm learning pad. That's my story. I'm learning pad for Street Fighter Six. Challenge you. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, Psycho, thanks for the 100 bits, buddy. I have to restart the game because I'm sick. No problem. Let's get that game back. 
I'm seeing this stupid chat and <laughs> fight Kate talking about this. Hey, you didn't do the code. No, I'm saying my buttons. Oh. Pad is good, but it struggles with simultaneous button presses, especially if you have small girly hands like I do. Hey, I hold start, and then... What the fuck? You have to, <laughs> like, you have to press the, you have to input the code before you see the character that shows up. That's what they're saying. You have to be, so a, I don't... you have to be an animal. So I have to hold start though, right? That's what it says, yeah. Are you reading the yeah. chat? It's posted a few times in the chat. Yeah, hold on, let me open chat. Yeah, I had to hold There's start. a code. The code for Akuma I can do, I think. Jab, Fierce, or... Yeah, Jab, Fierce. I can oh, do the okay. Akuma one. Let me memorize this one. Okay. Uh, put the cursor on the random select box on hold start. Then press... Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Wait, how am I gonna hit Jab and Fierce while holding start, dude? Oh. I don't know, dude. I'm holding start right now when I entered. Fuck. <laughs> I did it! I did it, guys! Okay, just beat my ass. Figure out the controls. Okay, you got air fireball. Well, I want you to get Dan, then I can play Akuma. Yeah, yeah. So just kill me then. Oh, right. So you can do it again. Yeah, because if I reset it, you won't be able to play Akuma. So, is this the first... No, this is not the first game Akuma's playable. But this yeah, is the this... first Street Fighter game he's playable, right? Well, th technically... His, like... Alpha 2 is. Because he he's a hidden in both Super Turbo and Alpha, right? He's a hidden uh, boss in, in Super Turbo, but you can't play as him. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can? Yeah, there's a code. There's a code? Yeah. Oh right! Yeah, he's a uh, he's a uh, hard band or soft band or whatever. Yeah, he's soft. Band. Right, you guys are right. I think he's actually hard band actually. What's that? Oh, in Japan he's hard band. It's to get it's old to get that soft band. Yeah. Dude, I love yeah. the idea of soft banding. You guys know what soft band means? Dude, what the fuck? When I hold start, it just picks a character. That doesn't sound right at all. It doesn't. It doesn't. It didn't pick a character when I held start. Really? Mm-hmm. Positive. Make sure your buttons are binded correctly. Oh, I see where it happened. Well, I was gonna say, um... He just killed me again? Yeah. So if you guys don't know what, uh, soft banning is... It, well, for example, old Sagat in Japan, for ST, he's soft banned. And soft ban means that you can pick him if you want. But everyone's in agreement that you're a bitch if you do. <laughs> it's such it's such a cool thing, I think. I think it's so cool. It's like everyone's in agreement just to not play him. I'm serious, isn't that cool? Like I do a super. What? I do a super, it has to go back to his fire fireball. Check course looking forward twice with super? Oh. Yeah. Hey, is what you saying? I just find it funny because because uh, a lot of Japanese pros when they flew down to play ST uh, with the Americans, they would just play old Sagat all the time. So I can't imagine what was going through their heads. You know what I mean? They're like, you know what I mean? Like Tokido and Daigo probably just, and an old Nookie or something are just chilling, and then like you know Vi picks old Sagat and they and they kind of like look at each other like. Yo, is this guy for real? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just hilarious. He has a dive John kick in this one? Whatever. What? Did he have a dive kick? Dive kick? Oh my god, he has a dive kick. Yeah, he does have a dive kick. I got I got a demon flip, it's like core circle back it looks like. Wait. That's a roll, isn't it? Is it a roll? What yeah, is this guy? Is this a demon flip, isn't it? That's a roll, dude. I think the demon flip is Tiger Knee? Maybe? Oh my god, I got the, I got the hop kick though. The evil Ryu hop kick. Oh, you're right. It's 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 Tiger Knee with punch. Yeah. Holy cow, he's got so many moves. I know. They they it's weird too because like they thought of all these moves for him, you know. And he's a it character. is crazy. They probably like base it off guy and stuff. 
Because they're like, they're looking at all the different variety of characters in Alpha, and they're like, okay, I mean, he needs like a, like a mobility move, you know? It, it just, they, I don't know, they just like gave him like, they, they wanted to give him something cool, right? Yeah. Because he's like the master. And like, like I said, yeah, exactly. He should have like all the tools of the shoulders, but more. But more, yeah, exactly. But more. Best did you stop okay. playing Street Fighter Five? Uh, we're waiting for the balance patch, bro. I okay. get it, Vesper. So I whoever wants to play see. Dan has to lose and then hold start to re-challenge and they have to hold it after pressing it once. Okay, I'm gonna restart one time. Okay. Okay, read Roy's comment because I'm I'm even more confused now. Okay, hold on, give me a sec. I'm gonna try and do Dan. What did I start with so far? Are you asking me when they're released in the balance patch? It's this month. We don't have an exact date. That goes okay. for both KOF and for Street Fighter V. They both have a patch coming out this month, but we don't have an exact date. Do a vid on who needs buffs? <laughs> I would just say Luke. There would be no point in making a video. Dude, that's so hard. Yeah, actually, no, I got it. I'm gonna switch my hands around. Guys, you're really giving Qual a workout here, getting this Dan. But Luke is already cracked. Not cracked enough though. Oh. So basically, you beat Qual, and then he presses and holds start to challenge you again, and then he has oh. to do the inputs. What? Really? But what does that have to do with the random select? I still don't understand. Wait, yeah. What? Bro, you completely I, I have lost to, me, bro. So I have to lose? <laughs> you mean Ryu? Guys, Atcom has done everything in their power to buff Ryu. Like I said, they went completely overboard. And no one still uses him. There's no hope. They might as well just give up now. Okay, I guess you can pick Akuma and then beat me and then I'll try it. Sure. Why Did someone put a... down the Akuma code again? <laughs> it was like, hold start, I think it was like, down, 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 right, right, right. And... No, <laughs> I don't want to play this trash character. <laughs> you got the gear of me. I have to press jab and fierce at the same time. Sorry. Ryu needs mad buff. Guys, what, okay, what buff would you guys give Ryu? What have they not buffed him with? I know you guys are going to say cross up Tatsu, but besides that. I'm, I'm, what's with you guys in guns? Wesker and Ryu would stomp at the guns. Uh, best because of you, I play very well charged characters. But now I try characters not charged and it's hard. Any tips for me? Um, yeah, if you, if you're, if you start off with charged characters, that would be an interesting transition. I mean, the, the, I don't know what level you're at, but, uh, at the very least, I mean, get used to not charging in the sense of like, get used to walking forward and back, get used to the advantages of not using a charge character. Shit, dude. Sick. Guys, this Dan thing has completely derailed the stream. <laughs> um, if you're working on your motions, try to do your motions clean. Do them the proper way. Don't try to mash. If you mash, it's not good. Do them clean and make sure you practice on both sides of the screen. I know it's very basic. You're a super diamond guy on Balrog. I mean, even if it's one giving you his basic tips, like... if I'm assuming if you're having problems using motion characters, then it'd be the basic things, right? Anyways. Uh, the way I have to hold this controller, dude. This is cancer. Okay, got it. Right, now you gotta beat me? Now I gotta beat you, apparently. Yeah. Can we pop Sans on Fight K, guys? No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Even the Capcom collection has Sans. Yeah, dude, in burst mode. Actually, yeah, you yeah. can. Damn, I got Red Fireball, too? I got everything. I did not do a video on motion characters. I just did tutorials on... 
canceling certain things like uppercut in the super, uh, how to do a fireball while walking forward, things like that. But when Street Fighter 6 comes out, uh, I will leave no stone unturned. I have a folder, guys, that of guides that I've been working on for the past like five years for Street Fighter 6. I will. There will be non-stop tutorials, okay? Yes, yeah, Street Fighter 6. I think you have Demon in this too. Uh, jab, it's just Jab Jab Forward Short. Jab Jab think, Forward Short? Yeah, I don't think you need to do Fierce. Oh! They added the Fierce in uh, Alpha 2. Whoa! That's some crazy trivia. I never knew that. I know. Jab I Jab Forward for Short? Okay, so I hold Start. This grows boring. You have to read yeah. what Roy is saying. Uh, I'm holding start. Roy, you gotta you gotta talk to us like we're five years old, bro. We're so uh, lost here. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. You gotta uh, talk to us like we're five years old. Okay, I'm holding start. That's what he said. And I go to random select. Okay, there we oh, go. What was the difference? What was the difference? You have to lose. <laughs> that was the only difference? Yeah. Wow, nice. Good job. You're gonna get your ass kicked. <laughs> Oh, Steven said, oh, how am I gonna lose? Oh, oh you got the normal. music too! Yeah, we actually have his music. See, that's crazy, like, he, this is, these are secret characters, but have their own music and games. Yeah, but isn't oh. this game supposed to be unfinished? Yes. Dude, look at the up. angle of this fireball! Look at this! Yeah, like, this is insane! <laughs> I can I fireball you from full screen from the air! This is nuts! This is not. I know it's Akuma, guys, but could you imagine? Now I'm gonna go spectate. Thanks for your help, Roy. Vesper, some of the dolls have guns in their gameplay. Uh, well, one of them has an uh, an Uzi. Yes, that is a very good point. But no, okay. I don't want Wesker, and I don't want them to give Ryu an Uzi. Sick. <laughs> Just wait for Street Fighter 6. So if you guys want the best buff for Ryu, wait for Street Fighter 6. Look how huge he is, okay? Wait, did I just lose the Dan? Hey, you lost the Dan. Best of the game. The Dan. I don't know why we get the Ingrid hate. I don't even know how Ingrid plays. Someone remind me. I want to check out some Ingrid footage and see how she plays and see if I uh, open up a She kind of plays like a... Kind of plays like a Shoto with a... Uh... Kind of like Athena, actually, you know? Yeah? It's weird. She has like firewalls to DP and like some weird top to move. Makes it a teleport. Hmm. How much does she weigh? A million pounds. Hmm. Ha ha ha! Oh shit. No! No, you're so cheap! I should have did Alpha Counter. You should have demon. You're I'm cheap. <laughs> Don't, Don't even try to get up. Damn, look how serious Dan is. He should be smiling. Of course, his dad just died. Well, he's supposed in the, in to be lower. like a... They're making fun of like SNK with him, aren't they? Yeah, but they gave him a storyline. <laughs> oh. Like, they, they, and they just... I think the... They just made him look like that as a but joke. But how are they gonna give him a storyline if like, uh, what's it called? This is my short, by the way. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. That's how do you give him a storyline if you have to lose? Well, that's the, that's the how it ends up, right? And then they 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 build upon it in the next game. That's how they used to do it, I guess. And now they don't Maybe. do that anymore. Ouch, oh. Jesus. Is that what Oh my god. There's a code that lets you and Quag co op against Bison. We're gonna play Dynamic Mode. Well, we're gonna play the PlayStation version tomorrow. Is that an arcade version? Uh, apparently, that's what Monkey's saying. But he says specifically Bison. That's the only one, though, in. Uh, in uh, oh, really? Yeah, that's the only one in Alpha 1. Oh, that's Turbo Whack. They have more in uh, Part 2. That's Good on the to know, console. Right? Oh no. Oh my god. 
<laughs> What's the terrible. input for Alpha Connor? Cor uh, core circle down punch. Reverse DP. Yeah. Best, are you gonna play the Street Fighter 3DX? Are you talking about EX? Yes, we're gonna play that someday. Yes. But that's what you're saying. Absolutely. Well, you oh, said yeah. you're gonna make a list for me on fighting games? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I know all the best ones. Oh, another thing too, chat. Uh, Qual wants to play a game for the stream. So yeah. I'll just be spectating during our retro thing. And uh, Qual wants to play. What did you want to play again? Uh, Ease. Ease 1 and 2. Those Ease. Are short games. That's the game with the YS, right? Mm -hmm. It's a very classic game. I think the stream likes it too. Yeah. Because we had, like I said, we had Mir on here before playing. Uh, What's it called? XCOM? What called? XCOM. The, the original XCOM that was like super complicated. I didn't even know that one existed. It was crazy, dude. It was nuts because when I released that video on YouTube, I realized that no one has a full playthrough of it on YouTube. Nobody. <laughs> so I was like. Good. Yeah, and there was like some people commenting on it that don't like know the channel. Yeah. The Ease games are great. Yeah, I, I I did I do have them on the list, but I never played them on stream, and I never watched them. So if Paul wants to play them, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And I can you can tell me why those games are so good. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're more like classic. Good is subjective. Classic. <laughs> oh, <almost. laughs> Look at this armor. This is Remember, they're making fun of Rio. <laughs> that Rio's? By the way, see my Rio, I'll smash you with him. I was in training mode for like 10 minutes. See my Yuri. You're, you play Yuri? Oh god. Yeah, dude, I just redeemed him over and over. Oh shit. Uh -huh. How do you deal with people in the King Kayla? How do you deal with them when they just throw fireballs at you full screen? Like, what do you do? Because well, rolling's too slow. Like, like they, either, they can punish you for rolling. Yeah, it's either, like, it depends on, like, how they're looking, what they're looking for. Yeah. If they have a move that can punish roll, I try to do it less, but then I, I still like do it Joe, sometimes. Like, Joe, like, example, there's a lot of Joes now. Yeah. Because of Joe is just, and shit. Joe's real hard. If you don't have a final with the fight of his, it's, it's really difficult. Wait, I lost my three punch button. What the hell? Cheeks. That was a two punch button. wee ya. Wee -ya. Oh, I tried to 360 throw you there. I think he did it, but I wish. Have I ever played SVC Chaos? <laughs> uh, I think I played it once in the arcade, and then I was like, I'm never playing this game again. But now I really want to play it. Because of all it's, the shit I talk. You know, in that game, there's infinite meter. Don't spoil it, man. I don't want to know. <laughs> I want to see so my reaction. <laughs> I know... I. I know there's some crazy characters like Violent Ken in there, and uh, and there's like the Martian, and yeah. I think is Tessa's there, in it. There's some cool Rose characters in it. in it. So like that's one way you and me have to play for sure. SVC yeah. Chaos would be hilarious to play on screen. Dead. Oh, was that was a grab throw or a grab super. <laughs> All right. Did, what you got? Did you guys like SVC Chaos? I like I like playing Violent Chaos. I just also. love how like CBS One, and CBS Two comes out. Like Capcom just like got as much money as they could out of the deal, right? And then SNK is like, oh dude, they're making so much money. We're gonna make so much money too. And they release SVC Chaos and no one plays it. Oh no. And they're like, oh, it's funny, dude. It's so cool seeing um. The Capcom sprites and stuff on the SNK style. Remember, remember uh, what Guile's hair looks like in SVC Chaos? It's so funny. Yeah, it's pretty uh, outlandish. It's insane, dude. The only, I think the the main reason, uh, though, no cap, that I didn't like SVC Chaos is the button scheme. I didn't like the button scheme. That's the yeah, because like you had to do like down back the medium kick or something. Right, right. It was like um. It was, I think it was CBS One's button scheme. Yeah. So it was too, it was too like alien to me. So I was like, I didn't want to learn it. That was like the honestly the main beef with that game I had. It was six six buttons. I would have tried it. 
Yeah, like, yeah. Or exactly. try to eat one, you know? Yeah. Six or four, yeah. right? Because I played NBC2 back then as well, so four was chill with. Yeah. Uh, it was too, yeah, it was too weird to get used to that location. Yeah. That type of thing. Joza. Ooh, that did weird. so much damage. Is it? Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, do you think Solom should be in Street Fighter 6? Uh... Do you think they should have these... These no-name characters no one has heard about for years in Street Fighter 6? Is always that waste of a slot? It depends how big the base roster is. That, that's what it all depends. Like, they can have fun if the base roster is huge. The only mistake Capcom can really make, besides a small base roster, the only other mistake they can make is having too many new characters. I always have beef with that. Yeah, Street Fighter 4 and 5, that. they had 4, but in 5, they, they went overboard. Yeah. It was so bad, dude. Like, no, no one wanted, no one really wanted, no one really the, wanted The thing is, is that you're not going to gain an audience, a new audience with new characters. You just, just can't. Yeah. You just you know got capitalized on, on your current one. Right. It's like, new characters, they, they're kind of an investment. Because, for example, with Street Fighter 3, them having all these new characters really hurt the franchise. But yeah. after Street Fighter 3, people love the characters now. Like Dudley, Buki, Yurian. People love uh -huh. those characters now. Right? Now so they do. Now they do. So it's like an investment. So you, they, like I said, they have to kind of teeter totter with it a bit. And, uh. Oh, yes, yeah, done. I think. Street Fighter 6 should have like five or six new characters tops. That's it, no more. That's yeah. it. And that includes Luke. Yeah, 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 you just don't want too many. There's just no. It just doesn't no benefit one. anyone. Yeah, no one really wants it. Everyone wants to see the favorite character. Yeah, so but what? the problem is Ono wanted all these stupid, goofy, sexy characters, so. You think people would want Street Fighter Five characters back? Well, I want Zeku back. I think people want Minot back as well. Minot's people a too. I really like Laura. Yeah, it's weird. They they like those characters. Like characters like Jerry just become super popular because of reasons. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they like. <laughs> How am I gonna word this on stream? I don't think. <laughs> They, they don't, they like, don't have anything. Like, one, the, one of the worst designed characters in Street Fighter V, straight up. But, like, uh, she, in Street Fighter she, 4, she, she was okay. Graphic. Street Fighter yeah. 4, her design was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had, like, sure. the holding down the ne the negative edge shit was cool. But in Street yeah. Fighter V, it was a catastrophe, how they designed Jerry. It was, like, it was a catastrophe, dude. Like, the fact that she has to do so many stocks, so much shit, just to get the character going, and then her V skill two is so stupid because V skill one you have to charge right, V skill two yeah. you also have to charge. It's like, bro, what do you want me to do, you know? And then uh, like the whole stock system was terrible with her. And then Laura is just, ugh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see what you guys do like on her design. I think it's terrible. Just having a a, a grappler character with a command dash, fireball, overhead. It's just so stupid to me. She's like an Akuma grappler. I don't know. It's just dumb to me. I think Laura's is really popular because aesthetically and because one of the top players in the US use her. You know? Yeah. But if we she... saw Laura's everywhere on every turn or whatever, I think people would fucking hate her, bro. And, and another thing too, Laura's story and her character itself, like lore-wise, is also stupid. So She's just like super goofy. She has no like awareness of her surroundings or what's going around her. I just don't like it. I think it's. I think yeah. She's literally stupid. Yeah. <laughs> She's literally stupid. But the She's bonita. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know. Like Zeku, his story is like okay. He ties in some cool thing with other Capcom franchises. His design is cool. I don't know. But when you come, when you put her side by side with Laura, is literally Ono incarnate, man. Like the most Onofied Ono character there is. I just, 
Look, if if they add if they bring Street Fighter uh, Laura to Street Fighter Six like you guys want, so be it. But please change the character, dude. Change the design. You know, if you guys want Laura back that badly, whatever. But just change the character. The character is so dumb. And I'm talking about change like, like her story, change everything. I yeah I, I dude I, I get the V trigger system has a huge impact on how Laura plays. You you have a good point on that, but it's still stupid having a command dash and a fireball and an overhead. I get it. I get that the system mechanics of the game matter. It's like Elena, right? Everyone hates Elena, but her healing was tied to Street Fighter 4 because the ultra meter how it worked and how it fills up. I get it. They messed up on that. I get it, dude. But when it comes, like remember, when, when like when it comes to characters, dude, every character has to fight tooth and nail, so to speak, on being in the game, right? There's we're on the sixth, sixth uh, one, and with the if you include uh, crossover characters or whatever from like Final Fight or Rival Schools or whatever, you can only fit so many characters in per game. And I just feel like, man, out of all the characters we can have, why Laura? Like, just why? I think you just change. Oh, okay. Like, you know, if you guys want that, like, super sexy character, I mean, there's tons of waifus you can have. Tons. That are be better designed and, and add more to the game, I feel, than Laura. I, just, I hate her design so much. Yeah, this is Street Fighter Alpha 1. Oh, see that flash kick. I'm just like guessing her moves. <laughs> They see a spinning bird too, though. Gi giving Chun Li like a charge flash kick like this is so strong. Like if she had this in Street Fighter V, she would be so strong. Ooh, short cut from the kick is really good. Standing fierce, yeah, standing fierce is good. Oh, she has her is it? super heavy kick over there. Is her super? I mean, fireball a charge? Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, it's charged. Oh, I lost it. Oh no. Oh. Okay. And Chun Li seems really good in this game. It's a really good alpha too, I tell you that. Guys, there's a billion waifu characters. A billion. Plus, I, I just don't see him. Like I said, I'm so certain that Sean is in the game. I'm so certain Sean's in the game. That I just don't see having both Matsudas in the game. I don't see it. Just like how I don't yeah. see both twins being in the game. Same thing. Yeah. You don't think they'll have Yen and Yang? No. I think they'll have <coughs> one of them, though. I think they'll have one. I don't think they'll have one. I think they have to have both when it comes to those two. The chat made that same argument, but I, I pointed out that there was only one in CBS2. Yes, and everyone hated it. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone hated it. I don't know. The twins, when you when you put them, like, there are so many more uh, popular Street Fighter 3 characters than the twins. Like, you gotta get, you have to have Yuri. You know what I mean? You have to have Ibuki. Dudley is another huge one. And then there's Oro. It's like there's so many good ones. But, like, why the twins, dude? Oro is popular, dude? Oro's not popular. They don't even know he's a Star character. <laughs> well, he's popular by fake fans. By fake fans. Like, if even if you don't know the character. Like, okay, like, remember, remember, uh, the friend of the friend who, who, uh, went up to Norman Reedus and he's like, Hey, Daryl. <laughs> Yeah, and then Norman sense. Reedus looked at looked at him, and he's like, "My name is Norman." That's still a that's a fake fan, but it's still popular. You know what I mean? The fan yeah. still likes Norman Reedus, even though he doesn't know his fucking real name. He's an idiot. But yeah, it's the same reason. You can still really like Oral and not know he's a charge character because you're a clown. He's got fake fans. 
No, no fucking wow. Remy, guys. You guys listening to what we're saying? No fucking I think Remy, Remy, man. I already made that. I think, I don't know. Remy's like so so. I don't know how popular Look, that guy is. At the end of the day, guys, I can use I can use as much logic as I can, but Capcom's probably gonna pull the. They probably want to surprise people, right? And they probably want to like whatever their insane reasons are, and they're a fan of a particular character. Characters are gonna slip through the cracks, and like the, the roster is not going to uh, please everyone. So no matter how much logic we bring into it, like we're like. You know, Qual's like, well, I think both twins should be in the game, and I'm like, well, Laura's whack. Like, all that's gonna go out of the window, and no, none of us are gonna be completely 100% correct on the roster. You know what I'm saying? So we just all have to be emotionally prepared that some characters are coming back, man, and some characters are. That's just how it is. And we'll see how close I was, or all of us were, when we finally see it. We just, like I said, it's important that the base roster is big so i would say 20 characters would be a good base roster anything more than 20 characters would be exceptional 20 characters i think is a good number they should aim for 25 would be through the roof crazy that'd be like insanity but 20 is good and then uh um like i said almost no new characters for DLC. One or two maximum. That's it. So six new characters for the entire game. Anything more I think is a bad move. Very bad move. Okay. 20 is good, but I feel like we should expect 16. Uh, 16 would be slightly disappointing, but it'd be okay. But, like I said, if they have 16 characters, dude, that means... Their DLC has to be on point, you know? I think 616 is like Danger Zone. Like, it means their DLC has to be good. They have to pick the right characters for their DLC. If they have a 20 character base roster, that gives them some breathing room to fuck around for a bit. Like 16, yeah, 16 is realistic. But, look man, they don't have to release Street Fighter 6. They can they can keep that game in the oven. You know what I'm saying? They already delayed it once. Like, if they're if they're willing to delay the game, bro, and you only have 16 characters, keep that shit in the oven, dude. I'll wait another fucking year. I don't care. I will make character roster prediction videos for another straight year. I'm fine with that. I just want that launch to be perfect, bro. No three point five launch. Yeah, I'll play these nuts fighting or whatever the hell else in the meantime, <laughs> or uh, Mortal Kombat 12 or where the fuck. I'm 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 serious, guys. I want this game to be perfect. I've waited six years. I'll wait another. Whatever. Keep it delayed, more retro, baby. Yeah, I don't even know if we should call it. What, I don't even think it should be called Retro Adventure if we take off the year thing. It'll be called like I don't know, Desperate Adventure. <laughs> I gave up on the retro adventure. <laughs> adventure. Yeah. <laughs> That's for no. I, I noticed I got a, a spike in subs on my retro channel. That could be because maybe some new people are watching the stream and they know I have the second channel, or maybe because my channel is um, coming back to life now. Uh, it, the YouTube feed it might be maybe showing people my second channel exists or something. I don't know. The algorithm is working in your favor. Yeah, like it, uh, there's a saying in between content creators. Well, there was a saying like over ten years ago, but it's always better to revive your channel than to create a new one. So yeah. if your channel had some hits. In the past, it's always better to revive your channel than to create a brand new one. Always. If you create a brand new YouTube channel these days, whoo, you have a big mountain to climb, my friend. A big, big, mountain. big mountain. A huge mountain. But no, like, yeah, like things are things are going good, man. Like, like we've been dormant for a long time, but but. Uh, like I said, people are coming in the chat and saying, "Hey, it's nice to see your like videos like on my feed for once." That's for back, baby. Yeah. Damn, your that short spam was crazy. Oh, you can spam a lot of shorts in this game. 
I think you can chain him after two short sit. Like chain him to a sweep. I know you can sweep. go short, medium, uh, sweep with Ryu. You can do like short, short sweep? Short, uh, medium uh, kick sweep. Like one, two, three. Yeah, I know you, I know you can That's do that. insane. Can you do fireball after that? Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. That's straight up anime. Yeah, that's straight up dog. Just don't get too big, Vester. Better be like careful. That. Don't worry. I'll never get too big, dude. If I do, I'll fucking cancel myself. <laughs> I'll release this a secret right. mana video if I have to. Burn all the people. Yeah, don't worry. I'll burn every bridge I can. I never want to get too big. <laughs> never. Really? Not even with for the money? I don't... I don't want too much money, dude. Alright. You're money afraid of the corruption. Money changes people. It corrupts you. It does. It's like, I, it's like I, the, I, talk, I have this conversation with you so many times, and my brother. Like, I don't, it's like I don't, the one ring, you know? It, yeah, it, it changes you, dude. I don't want too much money. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh. You taking off H2O? See ya, buddy. I wonder what people thought when they first played this game back then. Because this was a jump, a huge jump from Super Turbo, right? I don't know, they're probably pretty hype. They're probably like, oh, I remember Street Fighter. And wow, this game's so cool. Because, like, the like... jump from this, like, art style, going from Street Fighter 2 to this, is pretty huge. Don't forget the supers, too. There's, like, so many supers and three levels, too. Yeah. It's a pretty big jump from like the basic gameplay of FIFA 2. Basic in a way. Uh, holy cow! You comboed yeah. your Hurricane Kick from Short Kick? Yeah, the game's crazy that's like that. That's insane. I think that's why Nod was telling me to combo Short Short DP with Ken. Yeah. That's nuts, dude, that he can do that. The shorts are, are like crazy in the alpha games. Mm -hmm. You need to cancel into like. Your special moves, your special moves are really strong in this game, mm -hmm. Like, one thing about, like, when you- if you get big as a streamer, one thing I don't like is when the chat becomes- just becomes a hive mind of, like, emote spams. <laughs> That's what I don't want. Like, I still want the chat to always be legible. Like, sometimes, like- We, we need- we need to keep h on in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I- one of the biggest times for my stream was when, um, Sagat came out for- Basically, Arcade Edition. When oh, Arcade Edition though. Sagat came out. When Sagat came out, uh, and I was playing him through ranked, I had like 3,000 something viewers. And the chat was going so fucking fast, I could literally not even comprehend what anyone was even saying. <coughs> and I just didn't like it. Like, it was like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's too much shit to see. It was just too much to see, yeah. I was like, weird too. I was trying to teach how to do a uh, Kara cancel with Tiger Uppercut because we realized that, hey, they, they gave him the Kara cancel. And I'm like, do you guys know how to do Kara cancel? And I'm trying to explain it and the chat's just going, you know, I'm just like. Whoa. Let's talk about random shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know how Eris is. Like, when I watch Eris' stream or any, like, Dota stream where they have, like, <laughs> thousands of viewers. I don't know, like, he, he, sometimes he, like, picks out my messages and responds to it. I'm like, how do you pick out my messages? I I, yeah, I know. He does, he does see some, you got, you just have to kind of pick your choose, you kind of get the lottery ticket, right? Yeah. But, like, uh, like, one first step you can do is you set it to, like, follower only. And then eventually you set it to sub only chat, right? But, <laughs> that's when you're huge. That's, that's when your viewership gets insane, but, you know, hopefully it never comes to that day. Yeah. Okay. Sub only streams are whack. Yeah, they definitely are. But, <laughs> but like, sometimes the streamer has no choice, right? If they want to still engage in conversation, how else are you gonna do it? There's no way to filter it, right? Unless you just filter it yourself. Unless you filter it yourself, would be that'd be difficult. I mean, unless you're paying your mods. <laughs> Because you need a lot of anti spam. I 
I still, yeah, I, I haven't released the floodgates yet on the Discord channel. We can uh, prepare yourselves. <laughs> Max did so streams, it helps, but it hurts to see. I mean, dude, what are you gonna do when you have like 10,000 viewers, man? If he if he didn't... Another thing too is like, you'll get a lot of shit talkers too, right? You'll get like haters, <laughs> and I'm sure Max is like fucking sick of seeing that shit too, you know? Yeah, he, he'd be the type to be so Like, dude, like, if, if Max had no sub chat on, dude, and he was playing something, there'd be like, you know, ninja daggers and all that shit would be spamming across. <laughs> He would be There'd like, be so many yeah, he doesn't want to see that shit. You know, you want good vibes. It's just, just how it is, man. Dude, I, I have enough shit talkers myself already. <laughs> just with my viewers, you know. I get tons of shit talkers come in when I'm playing. You got people talking about you, though, dude. Yeah, dude, exactly. You don't want all those people coming to fly. Yeah, it's just a statistical thing. It's like... The more fans you get, the more haters you get. That's just how it is, man. Yeah, the more weirdos you get. Yeah. The more people who don't give a shit about their account and just say the worst shit possible. Yeah, dude. Read, read through some of my YouTube comments, guys. It's just, it's, it's a crazy world. <laughs> Max is the main target for trash talk, for sure. Yeah, I'll, yeah, most big streamers are. Most of the time. Most of the time. But since our community is smaller, you yeah, know, Max is a pretty big target. <laughs> He's a pretty big target. Yeah. All right, Nod. Have a good night. I'm gonna try to do the short, short DP shit. Oh, you know how to play guy? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know how to play this character. It's not that hard. It's easy to exactly. He's just not intuitive to me because his hurricane kick is an anti-air. Yeah. And yeah, it's weird. And he's no fireball, so it's just like really alien to me. Like he's not a Shoto, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no fundamentals. He's not a Shoto. Ah. What? The Why does fuck? it look like Raging Demon? Let's <laughs> see. Uh... Area, crazy name. Oh. Try to do wake up super. Oh. But yeah, guys, it's not like I'm I'm gonna intentionally not try to grow. Like obviously I'm, you know, I'm working hard on the YouTube channel and we're going hard on the tutorials and stuff. But I don't know. We'll see when the when the day comes how it goes. Well, that either way. But there'll be a lot of people playing Street Fighter 6. It's different than when I was playing Street Fighter 5 or 4. Things have changed. Yeah. Hey. Oh Ooh. my god. <laughs> those girls gossiping about how I lost. I thought one of them was Sakura. That's like not even close. <laughs> Maybe her friend. I think she lives on the street near the street. What? Yeah, dude. She goes to school on the street. She meets Ryu on the street. What the hell? Yeah, this, but that's uh, Alpha 2. That's too much spoilers. Don't like who anymore? Wait, what? What's going on? You don't like him anymore? Oh. Oh, I comboed into Fireball from Short Short Claw. Yeah, you can, you can do that in the other outfits too. It's crazy. <laughs> Game's nuts, dude. This game is nuts. Oh my god, that's super trash. It's better than Alpha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not even a grab. It's like a hit grab. I thought grab. it was a grab. What's the uh, hits? Oh no, I do. Oh I kinda, shit. I I thought I was gonna chip you way more. Uh oh, what do I do? Ah! <laughs> One second, back. Okay. I'll look up the bison code. Down, down, left, left. Down, left, left. Down, down, left, left, down, left, left. 
Okay, nice. This guy's moves. Yeah, I'm back. Now you fight and Wait, him. how'd you get Bison? He has a call for him. How'd you know the code? I looked it up. That's what some blue could. Kinda sucks though. A fireball though. Mm. Do you know Bison and Akuma share the same voice actor? Bison what? And Akuma share the same voice actor. Really? Yeah. I don't know in this one, but uh, I know he does in the other ones for sure. Oh, cool. oh shit. Oh shit. No spoilers on Batman. I really want to watch that movie. Got Robert Pattinson. That's all I care about. <laughs> oh, it's like a crush shot. Oh man, that goes full screen. Dude. Holy shit! Dude, you're a boss character. I'm still. There's a new Batman. Yeah, it's Another called one. the Batman. <laughs> Why do they keep making the Batmans? Because it's the other than the obvious it's answer. It's the only good superhero DC has. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, the chat got deleted. <laughs> Someone said spoilers. It's by Zach, actually. No spoilers, you idiots! It's a fucking movie that's like literally just came out in the theaters. I want to watch that shit so bad, no spoiler though. You'll get fucking blast off. Air Hyper Viper beating you. Times three. <laughs> That's five. It's a long meter. You can't what survive five Hyper Beams, unless you're like Sendo. Oh. Why can't I put any- oh. Yeah, we ran out of points. I'll, 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 get some money. I'll get some change. Boy battle. Uh, there's been a lot of Superman stuff lately, though. <sighs> Isn't it like Superman? Let's we'll play Birdie. Okay, I'll play Birdie next. Now Zach's calling people in the chat soft. <laughs> this guy just comes in here and just starts terrorizing everyone. I know. <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? He's, a, he's your mod. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Like everything was good, and then Zach comes in here and it's a it's fucking disaster. Oh, yeah, this is my jab, dude. <laughs> That's your jab? Yeah, this is my struggle. Oh, I guess everyone in the game had like, they were too lazy to make different normals. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. oh man. Dude, I was, when I was practicing Rio, the, the stupid four back forward input on controller, I always get it half circle every time. <laughs> so, you know what my solution was? What? Uh, I Not pressed no forward, video. upside down, half circle. Upside down, half circle. Upside down, half circle. I'm talking from, from, clown from shoes. From up to down? Up to down? Uh, back to up to forward. I'm talking pure clown sho shoes fucking motion. Back to up to forward. Yeah. Ha upside do do down. Like, you know how so there's it's a smiley like, face? Kind of like You know how there's a smiley face? You yeah. make a sad face on your controller instead. Because you're playing KOF 15. <laughs> It's the best fighting game right now. Out right now. Fuck. Actually, you should play me in some sets before you go. <laughs> and then I gotta beat this shit on PlayStation tomorrow with dramatic. I'm gonna play the yeah. PlayStation version. I've been playing, uh, trying to do Ash combos, but the game's just been pissing me off too much. Dude, try doing Ash combos with controller. Flash kick in the super is so fucking annoying. <laughs> wow. I swear oh, to God, this shit just drops for no reason when you play Ash, I swear. I know. It's okay. 
Don't worry, Bunk. We're gonna play it. dramatic tomorrow on PlayStation. That's a Gold Lewis input. Is that a Guilty Gear character? Oh, that's the dude yeah. with the giant. Uh, yeah, it's giant coffin. the coffin. Yeah, that's actually a motion for him. <laughs> really? He's a, he, he has a half cycle going in eight different ways. Oh my god! So it's like this up to down, down to up, and then back to up to forward, and forward to up to back, and then there's Jesus. half cycle forward, half cycle back. It's like. So but Guilty Gear has Guilty Gear has input leniency though, right? It has to. Be. Yeah, it does. I think. Yeah, it does. I, it still blows me when Kale has no input leading to CP. Yeah, it pisses me off too. It's, it's like, come on, man, I suck. Off. It's like, come on, I have no time to grind these combos. Well, that's what I'm like, we're old, man. I don't yeah, know, you just old. realize how archaic it is. You yeah. know, and you're like, before you're like, yeah, I, I don't want this, you know. Yeah, like, you need it, right? You need, you need this to separate the scrubs from the pros. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, I don't want to get beaten by scrubs, smash And then you. And then you play and then you just... it, and then you realize you're like, oh, this is trash. Yeah, you're like, oh man, I'm a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Can't look, do this look stuff. Look at my light punch and my medium punch. Guys, this light is punch. light punch? <laughs> this is light punch. This is medium punch, punch okay? Alright, I'm gonna press the button, you guys tell me which one it is. What was that? <laughs> was that light or medium? Which one did I press? You can tell by the sound. <laughs> they weren't listening. Look, he's got the same heavy punch he does in Street Fighter V. And look, it's yeah, his overhead a... kick. His full overhead kick. That's why, right. uh... That's I don't know what button that, 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 that one is. Immunity kick? Crouch immunity kick? That's not a button. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. How do I do that chain move? Uh, what chain move? The super? I don't know. He has a move that he has. A, he uses his chains. Oh, uh, that's not in this game, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> what are my moves, guys? I only know one, the charge. He has a command grab. I forgot what it was. And, uh, there it is. 360. <laughs> okay. Of course. I think he just has- uh, he has a tap too, I think. I think he has three oh, he has moves. a tap? Yeah. Oh there it is. my One. god. Just One. like in Street Fighter V. <laughs> just like in Street Fighter V. I you think he just has- right. <laughs> Yeah, you only have three moves, I think. Half circle forward? Half circle back? I tried half circle forward. I guess that's all you have. Yeah. Three moves. They didn't have that much moves in this game, except for Akuma. <laughs> one. I like how it still says one. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't even say the announcer says it. Three. What? But Three. he has a move where he like, I swear he like, I don't know, throws a chain at you or something, doesn't he? No, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Not in this game. You gotta have more than two moves, guys. Oh, bro, this, this, this no game way. was bare bones. It was so bare bones. Even Charlie had like, had like two moves. Shit, what's my kick super? That was oh, right what there. the fuck? I, I have kick and punch with both the same super? Is that it? <laughs> Someone said have circle four, but I, tr I tried it on both buttons, guys. I'm pretty sure you did. I did. Play eight on since you don't want to play him. <laughs> Street Fighter Five was bare bones. Jagger. Yeah, Street Fighter Five was pretty bare bones, dude. It was. So that launch was incredible. Uh, Vesper, when is Capcom going to give us the Street Fighter 5 patch notes they promised? I don't know, dude. Honestly... Honestly, I I have no idea what the holdup is. Like, like what do they have to wait for? There's no other character coming out. Uh, they already announced Street Fighter 6, so it's all good. I mean, they could just release it right now. They had to delay it, so obviously it was done already. Who knows? Maybe think positively and be like, maybe Capcom has another surprise for us. You know? Omega Mode would be like, insane. But, or maybe it's just fucking Capcom, who knows? But it's this month, so it's not gonna be too much longer. 
Oh shit. Is, if Dragon Punch is, is, is a tiger hanging in this game. My crouching face is crazy too. Jaguar kick is insane. Take that too. Remember when Stain almost beat John Choi with Ada? I know. In and then F-Chap F -chap had the... Oh dude like... guys, it was so crazy. <laughs> so, uh, my buddy Stain. He was an Adon enthusiast. Like, you know how like SRK had those um, uh, threads where they details everything about the character, their combos, their moves. Like Stain was like the main guy who did it for Adon. And uh, I th were you guys in the salty suite or something? Like Stain? Uh, no, Stain it, it, played... it was a uh, eagle pool fine, uh, eagle pool match. But you're you're saying Stain played F Champ in the pools? No, F Champ. No, F Champ was like. Talking shit to Stang. No, but about, he said about. he said he played Stang. That's what F Chap was talking shit about. Did? Yeah, man. He must have played him in a money match or in the salty suite or something. I think he must. Because he yeah. said, well, anyways, F Champ apparently played Stang the night before. I guess we were in the salty suite. It was a very long time ago. This is like 2000. This is 2009, 2010, 2012, I think it was. Yeah. It was a very long time ago. And this uh, when Ada this is Street Fighter Four days. And uh, and then Stain goes against John Choi, and Stain's beating him. And okay, so we're all sitting down, right? Obviously, it's a huge crowd because it's evil. And behind the station, F Champ is pacing back and forth, literally behind the monitor, just talking mad shit to Stain. Like if those if those new license things kicked in from Capcom, F Champ would have been escorted off the premises in fucking cuffs. He was talking so much shit. It was like literally harassment. But like we didn't care. Like Stain didn't care. We didn't care. Cause we were just like, hey, this is uh, you know, this is the FGC. This is how it's gonna go, you know? And he was like, he's like, I played this guy last night, 5-0 or some shit. <laughs> he was like, it was free! And he was like slapping his hands like fucking free. He was like mad this during the match, okay? And he was just like saying shit like that. And Stain was still beating him. Yeah, I wonder how that helps John Choi. Like, why is he doing that? He was just like, it was he was an animal, dude. Like, it was like, no, nah, stop. Like, I, I get it, you gotta cheer for your boy, you know? But like, holy shit, dude. I'm like, it's not like Stain is like some pro player, you know? He's just some dude. Some dude who wanted to play against some pros. And, but Sounds anyways, it, it, this match came down to the fucking wire. To the point where even F Chap was quiet because you know we're like, oh fuck, here we go, right? And Stain made a super huge fatal error. Like John threw a fireball and Stain did his ultra, but he did it a little too far. And he went through the fireball and the super whiffed and then he lost. But he could have changed fate because what happened after that? Uh that's why I played someone, right? I think that's when John, I think it, it could have changed the tournament because John Choi then played Daigo or something, and I think Daigo lost to John Choi. He got put into the same year, no, was it? I don't remember, dude. Was, I know John Choi lost Daigo but... all the time because of the bracket situation. Stain also played against Mr. Wizard too, <laughs> <laughs> and it was the <laughs> dude. I'm starting to remember. this is all starting to come back to me, man. There's so many funny jokes. Because the whole MLG situation, I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, MLG tried acquiring, uh, like, not acquiring, but, like, they tried to get Street Fighter. And I, the higher-ups didn't like that, because they didn't want Street Fighter to be eSports. <laughs> and, I, and I remember Stang was talking shit about that. Like, after Stang won against Mr. Wizard, Stang wanted to be like, MLG. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it would have been such a funny pop up. Anyways, yeah. Hard for me to tell these stories without inside information, but. Uh, yeah, man. It, there was opportunities for Street Fighter to become esports long before uh, Street Fighter 5. Um, and Mr. But, Wizard didn't want any of that. Yeah, dude. Well, it wasn't just him, though. There's a lot more people, but... Yeah, but like... Yeah, the Illuminati. Yeah, the Illuminati, we'll call them. And, um... 
Damn, that super is so good, bro. I know. I was posing. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, like, Evil wasn't ready for the first Street Fighter 4 tournament, bro. They were like. I, that was the year we went, wasn't it? It was maybe it was the uh, second year. It was during Super. Because. It was like, and. It might have been Arcade Edition, too. Yeah, because, uh. Because their numbers went from like hundreds of people to like over a thousand. And it was that because Street Fighter 4 was so huge, guys. And it made all the other fighting games huge too. And it was just. The e evil was just so big at that point, you know? That's when it got out of hand. Yeah. And then when they started having like the Smash games in there too, and it got even more out of hand. And, <laughs> yeah. You got the. You got the. The, the feel. The duels. The yeah. feuds, I mean. Feuds against the Smash people. And it was so cool, like watching Evil on that that um, that stage where uh, they hold most of the boxing matches. What was it called? Which CEO? What was it called? CEO. Yeah, and no, but what was that name of the, the hotel in Vegas where they usually hold the boxing matches? You know how they had the oh. Evil logo and they were on it on the stage. Oh, uh, what is it? Not the Bellagio, right? Is it the Bellagio? Do you guys? Know I know that? Evil is always at season. Oh, Palace. it's MGM Grand. Yeah, 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 that stage. Anyways, so hopefully uh, they can repair that as best as they can. Because, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is for when the Evil's coming out. It's going to be weird. It's well, like what, the first... Guys, when are they going to announce the titles? Like, when is that Sometimes happening? Oh, soon? Soon, right? Got to be this month, isn't it? Because they, already, told oh, them. they already made the announcement of it. They just save it. Oh, oh okay. so that's two days from now. Tuesday. Yeah, it's oh, on Tuesday. Tuesday? Yep, Tuesday. Are you gonna stream? You're gonna restream that. Dude, am I gonna restream it? I don't really play fighting games though. <laughs> You're playing KOS. I'm gonna be like, oh, Melty Blood. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I gonna say? I love Melty Blood. Oh, dude, KOF 15 is. Yeah, of course they're gonna have KOF 15, guys. Come on. It's gonna be 345. <laughs> Okay, with 15. And strive, for sure. Probably Tekken 7, too. Are we streaming for the lulls? I guess I'm up in a day. It depends how busy I am. It might be just an hour. Okay, with 13 for you? Oh, that'd be insane, dude. Well, I think that. Willie's been watching a lot of uh, DSP videos, <laughs> and he's watching like a lot of those like they go over like the history or whatever, and it, we keep hearing that that Street Fighter Two story. Which one? Um, how they played. Uh, like guys, which ver version? which version? Dude, I was blocked. It's a three D. It's a three D version. It's the leg. <laughs> Dude, DSP complains more about leg than I do. <laughs> I'm like, it was leg. Dude, he, is... he complains about lag and like Elden Ring and shit. He's crazy. But anyways, uh, what was I was gonna say, uh, what which version of S of ST was it, guys? It was like either either the PlayStation version or 3DO version. Was it 3DO? No, I think that's what, no. It was, was it like Saturn? Does anyone know? It was, know? It was like PlayStation or something. It was like a really bad version of it. And every time I hear the story, it's so crazy. And I'm like. There's people talking shit, like it shows like, you know, Choi, shows Watson, shows Vi. Yeah. And I'm like and trying Watson's to explain to my brother like who these people are. I'm like, these are like, you know, these guys are like legends. huge. These are legends. When we're, yeah, they're legends. I'm trying to explain to my brother because the video is only talking about DSP. And I'm like, you guys, under, you have to understand that like when these guys didn't give a shit about the game. And then, um, what's it called? Uh... So when they announced the version of of, of of ST, a lot of the pros boycotted it. They just said, fuck yeah. it, I'm not going to enter this tournament. So a lot of people didn't even enter it. And then, yeah. like I said, I don't know what the difference of the game. No one goes over because no one really plays fighting games that do those videos. I wish someone would really go in detail on the differences on that game. I'm really curious what gave DSP such a huge edge besides no one entering it. But I, I also saw the results because I looked it up, and DSP didn't even get first. I thought he got first in that tournament. 
Didn't he? Didn't he? No, that's what I thought. I thought he got first. No, he he when what he he was the the highest placing American player. He got he fourth. Calls us, he calls himself a champion all the time. That's why you know. That's why I got fucking confused. But he means American champion. He's the <laughs> number one American Street Fighter champion. Of course. He got fourth. <laughs> dude, that's a fucking wild option select though, dude. Dude, that's like. If I got like, I don't know, 12th place, but I was the only Canadian, I'd be like, I am the Canadian Street Fighter Champion. You <laughs> got fucking 12th place for the tournament. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fucking say that one day. It's gonna be amazing. Anyways, um, the top three players, you know who was in that fucking tournament? Who won that tournament, dude? Dude, uh, on, there was Onuki was in that tournament. And Tokido was in that tournament, too. They got second and third. Tokido and Onuki. The number one, uh, Player was a uh, forgot what his name was, but it looked like he just played ST exclusively. <clears throat> Anyways, um, yeah, and then that's where was like Watson complained about the version and shit. But I, I'm really curious. And then DSP did make one good point though. Like when people talked to him about that, he said that like, look, we knew what version of the game we were playing. Like they announced it months ahead. And DSP, he said he practiced that shit like every day on that specific version while everyone else didn't give a fuck, right? Yeah, they just, yeah, that's... yeah, they just played on the arcade version or whatever version they're used to. So like, you know, that's true. Like DSP has a good point. Like, look, look, man. It's your guys' fault for not playing this whack version or entering the tournament at all, right? <laughs> but he did. And then, uh, what's it called? Um... Like, the, the speed was fucked up, too, on that version. Like, it wasn't, like, it was, like, I don't know, like, Turbo 3 or some shit? I don't know. Yeah. It was messed up. The speed, the speed is a big deal, too, in those old games. That was I don't think it matters that much anymore. Anyways, the point is, is that I want to know more about this, this fucking version that was at EVO, and why was it this one at EVO and shit like that. I know, like, Bison's Psycho Crush is, like, bugged or some shit, so, like, it doesn't hit, or, like, it... Doesn't like get sworn in Bakpo or some shit? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. You have to just look up like PlayStation 1. It was like a collection edition too, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, Street Fighter 2, Turbo. Super Turbo. He's the living embodiment of a meme of the Olympic medalist who's celebrating like crazy and you finally get third place. Hey, you still get to uh, be on the stands. That's cool. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do super. That's cool. Dude, that was like some CBS2 shit. Yeah, it works in every Street Fighter. Yeah, that's true. So doing ST is like fucking impossible. <laughs> yeah, the render cancel. Yeah, I didn't even know there was a name for it. Yeah. Yeah, there was an unblockable cycle crusher on Wake Up if you timed it right. Oh, really? Dude, that, oh, that makes okay. me think of like Sentinel Low Laser unblockable. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was like fucked up shit like that. It was like the game was so fucked up. Yeah, I I I know DSP used DJ. Used DJ and like I think. Oh, did you did? You could do it like two or three times in a row. That sounds oh. crazy. That's crazy. How did Onoki get second and third? Didn't Ski Sonic yell at DSP in the commentary? That was that was Ski Sonic. Ski Sonic. I I know exactly what you're talking about. I didn't know that that Ski Sonic was the one that was yelling at him. What happened? Um, so like, there's just like clips, right? And there was oh, like, they were just showing how like, DSP was really unpopular in the community, right? People didn't respect him. And DSP was um, recording matches and pools for his channel, I believe. Oh, and, I remember this. And he, I guess he was delaying the tournament because he was so focused on getting footage. And then Ski Sonic, like, just, I don't know if it was Ski Sonic, but somebody, you can hear someone in the background yelling at him. That he was gonna get this, that he got disqualified, and then really? DSP was yelling back saying, "You don't know how to run a fucking tournament or some shit." I don't know. <laughs> it, dude, it was grassroots, man. That's all. I mean. It was grassroots. What do you, that's dude, that's how it is, man. <laughs> dude, like in tournaments, how they were run back then, dude. Was, you basically had a bunch of names on a board, and everyone was crowded shoulder to shoulder around like, two machines, and you just wait for your name to get called. You know? Yeah, trying to figure out your They literally match. have like a, a, a megaphone calling people's names because it was so bad. <laughs> I could beat J1 rank. Quad plays against J1 all the time. 
Bob plays them in, in these games too. Yeah, he always beats me. Yeah. And then Qua tries like not to jump. Or Qua tries jumping and then J1 like always anti airs him and then J one's like, you gotta stop or you gotta jump more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, you gotta jump more. Okay. Thanks for, <laughs> it's like, okay, thanks for the tip, bro. <laughs> okay, Justin. Alright. Of course. It was fun. I was so blind. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is why you're the, you're the big league. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah, he plays rolls too, it's like it's possible. Oh, does he? Oh, dude. That's, br that's so no. brutal. Yeah. It's tough if you Okay, that super's terrible. <laughs> it's yeah, super it's horrible. Ow. That was like 3-2. Uh, Vesper, congrats on all the success on YouTube and stuff. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So I'm trying. I'm trying to bring everything back to life now. Bring it back to retro. Yeah, bring it, everything coming back. I'm really excited to uh, start working on stuff again. Yeah. Yeah. There's like only one thing that I'm actually actually like worried about with Street Fighter Six. It's a real life thing though, and it's just that. Uh, I have to move next year, and it's gonna be around March. Which will be when Street Fighter 6 probably will be out by then. I'm just really worried about that window. I have to like... It's gonna be crazy time for me. Crazy time. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. Hey, what's up, Gavin? How you been, man? Did you stop that? <laughs> Did you stop that? What are you gonna do? Ah! <laughs> run? You gonna try to run throw me? That's why I ran into something. Oh. Yeah, this this stage is. I agree with Qual. This is definitely the best stage. That's because it's the most detailed. There's more stuff going on. It's yeah. It's like very nostalgic too. Mhm. Mm it's in the puzzle fighter too. Uh, this stage. It's just simple modern day Japan, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's on the streets, by the way. I just have to make sure, like, whatever house I'm moving, I gotta make sure the internet's, like, already hooked up, ready to rock and roll, and I just literally hook up my computer and then throw in a mattress on the floor, you know? You gotta make sure it has five in. Yeah. I, it's, it's pretty much citywide now, I shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. That poster says Street Fighter 3. Isn't that a 1 at the very end? That's a 2. That's it, that's Street Fighter 2. That has nothing it, to do with Alpha, though. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little canon. I mean, that game takes place after Alpha, you know. Is Canadian internet infrastructure better than the US? Oh, hell no. No, it's not. The infrastructure's not better, but I, I think our competition is better. So, like, what I mean is, the US has better infrastructure, but... The U.S. has to deal with a lot of bullshit on... On... You guys have a very, um... Like, limited choices. Like, there's some places where you live where you're fucked. On what your choices of ISP is. Yeah, exactly. Like, a monopoly. Whereas in Canada, it's not that bad. It's like... You you have the same amount of choices usually where you, wherever you are. It's fine. But there's no way our infrastructure is better. No way. John wants us to use the Kuma. I don't know the Kuma. We used we used the Kuma for a while. He's super strong. Oh, nice. oh I didn't get a good jug on that. Oh, nice. He just. Oh, I didn't uh, think you'd sweep. It's a bait. <laughs> oh, I can't roll through with fireball. No, it sucks. Oh, I tried to throw you. I should have played with this. <laughs> Vesper, you can thank the Cable Wars of the 80s for that. Well, it's it's not even like... I don't know what the Cable Wars are in the 80s, but um, for one of our one of our ISPs is TELUS. They also do like um, television and cable and shit like that. They're a big company now in Canada. And uh, they... They are the first to get um, fiber optics, okay? 
and they could have easily, easily have bankrupted their competition. Um, like the, the the second best, like for example, Talus's internet is is a is a, a thousand down, a thousand up. Okay, a thousand down, a thousand up, and our competition, the best they can offer, was a hundred fifty down, fifteen up. That was their competition, and they could have put them out of business. But the the Canadian government or whatever stepped in and forced them to put a limit on what they can provide. So what I'm just saying is, for example, like Telus could they can they can give a thousand down, thousand up, and only charge five bucks, for example. Then they would put Shaw our competition out of business, and then they can charge us up the ass when the competition's gone. I'm just showing like. There's certain things that, you know what I mean, laws are in order from stupid shit like that happening, right? Uh, so, I'm just saying it could still be bad now if uh, there weren't certain laws in place. Oh, I gotcha. I'm not saying there isn't like, you know, capitalism in Canada or anything like that, but there's just, it's just not as crazy. Uh, I'm pretty lucky. I get 900 down, 20 up for 50 bucks a month. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, dude, anything higher than 10 up is pretty good. I mean, if you're a streamer, obviously you're going to need... This character's fun. Oh, I can go through. Yeah, anything... If you're a streamer, you'd probably want more than 10 for sure. But uh, that's still really good. Especially for 50 bones. American, yeah. No, there's no Kami in this game, guys. Kami wasn't born yet. The government took too long to sign the bill to stop the monopoly, so now they have the cable in the ground and no one could put the extra cable without paying them. Oh, I understand. I know Telus had to make their own infrastructure, and if Shaw wants to use the fiber optics, they have to pay Telus, so... That's hardcore. But also a, a, an extremely expensive investment. Like, uh, there was a long t uh, many, many years ago, I went down to a- I had to go down to the States for uh, a wedding in, um, St. Louis. And we were, like, in a smaller town outside the city, and, uh, it's just, like, a small town. And, like, literally, there was, like, just houses, just tons of houses, oh, and a- gigantic like all these old houses and a gigantic <clears throat> brand new walmart in the middle and it was like the walmart looked like a castle like there was like a moat around it or something like it was like glowing in my eyes it was crazy and i'm like wow you know this is like <laughs> This is what it's like, you know? It's nuts. Like, you can tell that Walmart puts so many places out of business. Everything around it, you know? I mean, Canada has Walmart, too. Oh, shit. It took Walmart a long time to, uh, to do well in Canada, from what I understand. It took them a while. That's why we had that whole, um, Target fiasco. Oh, yeah, I don't Target know if any of you guys know about that, but, um... Target tried moving to Canada and they made a shit ton of stores everywhere and they had their grand opening and they completely failed. Completely. And they literally moved out of the country. And it was like one of the biggest like business blunders. They'll be talking about that shit in business class for years. Huge business blunder. That shows you how different it is when you move to another country with your business, right? Seeing a Super Mormar is sad, it's like an empty desert and then... Yeah, that's like basically what I saw. I've never seen something like that before, BMAC, in my life. So when I saw it, it was just crazy to me. Was there people in this side? Um... 
We did go to that Walmart, actually, now that I think about it. I don't, I don't, I don't remember how packed it was, though. It was so long ago. So many years ago. Is it that they didn't have a steady flow of customers into Target and failed? Well, I, I didn't go to Target, but from talking to my friends that went there, what they didn't like about it is that the Target didn't have enough American things. So like, they had a Target in Canada, but it was just like, you can, all the things in Target, in that Target, you can get elsewhere. So it didn't feel like American or exclusive. That's that's the complaint my friend said. I I don't know what I don't know what the reason was, but what I do know is that um, Walmart wasn't doing good either when they first moved to Canada, and but they they stuck it out and they adjusted to what people wanted, and now they're doing well. Probably more expensive. Probably. I I, I don't know though. I'm sure there's like a whole documentary video about it, dude. Like I said, it's a... It's a famous one. Like, it's a huge blunder. It's like, it's one of those like... Like I said, they'll be teaching that shit in business class because it's like... It's such a good lesson. Like, they lost, like, probably billions of dollars, dude. Like, they opened up tons of stores in every province. And yeah, these, and the Target's down. huge! <clears throat> it's a huge-ass store, dude. It's not some small store. They should have had a soft opening. I don't know why the fuck they did it that way. You know what I mean? They should have tested that shit in like Toronto and. Vancouver. I think it was. I think it was just doomed to fail. Dude. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Like, what the fuck do we need a Target for? Well, what what kind of store is Target? It's just like a Staples or like a, even like a Walmart. Even it's the same thing. Not that much. What what do they sell there? Is it like appliances? It's more appliances, maybe like office stuff, maybe some furniture. Sounds like a Sears. Yeah, it's, it's it sounds like a Sears or the Bay or some shit. Target like, is similar to Walmart. I'm pretty sure Target doesn't have like groceries and shit. Even Walmart does, right? Walmart's crazy. Walmart has like groceries. Has everything. Yeah, it literally. Yeah, it literally has everything. But then like Target, I don't know what the heck Target has to groceries. Does it? Well, maybe in the know. states it does. Like, I, I went there and, I don't know, there's like nothing that I could find that was different. Like, I could go just go to Best Buy even. Shit, that was deep. <laughs> what?! That was punishable on hit! That was punishable on hit, dude. So yeah, maybe stupid. I, maybe I, don't, I don't do that, super. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, it, that's why this game's unfinished. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> like honestly, the target lasted here for like, a couple months and it ran out of business. Yeah, that's probably why they had to pull. <laughs> Dude, whoever was the guy that pitched moving those buildings, oh my god. I wonder what happened to that guy. Yeah, he just disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Disappeared into the east. He, he definitely disappeared, bro. He's like, what happened to that guy? I don't know. He just what? <laughs> I guess we can fire him. Whoa, hair grabs in this game? I, think, I don't. I, I'm sure Chun Li has one. Not you think it's weird that Charlie has Galaxy? This is Galaxy? This is. Oh, wait, never mind. It's no, this Galaxy. is a <laughs> This is nasty. This is nasty. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I mean, that so would I be thought... weird. <laughs> that would definitely be weird. If that was the case. <laughs> What? My wow. heavy kick isn't an anti-air, you big heavy kick. 
Oh. I did so much damage. <laughs> yeah, Amazon is definitely changing the climate. I mean, all these kind of uh, services are, dude. That's where the world is going, right? Like, um, Netflix, right? Taking over uh, media. Uh, Amazon's taking over, you know, all of our products. And then... Um, and then now we have like Microsoft Game Pass. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's that's it's just the, that's gonna be the future, bro. It's gonna be a digital world, man. That's, that's how it is. There's no reason to go outside. Yeah, there's no reason. We have now we have Uber Eats. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We have Uber Eats, Uber drivers. It's just yeah, you have no reason to go outside, man. Literally no reason to go outside. Unless you need the chip ice. <laughs> Why do you need the chip ice when you don't go outside? <laughs> we still have to chip eyes just so our neighbors don't complain and shit. Yeah, it's a bye bye. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, the government going after you. Mm -hmm. Uber Eats, because who doesn't love paying 13 bucks for $8 worth of food? Uber Eats is really pushing that stupid Uber Pass, though. So if you're someone who. Who orders all the time? If you get the Uber Pass, it's not bad because then it's free deliveries for the month. But okay. if you get that, you're done, so. Hey, you're done. You're gonna say goodbye <laughs> to your life. Yeah. That will just enable you even more. Yeah. It'll be very bad. Uber Eats and DoorDash not finding your house for deliveries. Oh, don't even get me started, bro. <laughs> The, the biggest thing I hate and, <laughs> uh, is by far is the, the fact that I don't know if it's like this in the States. Let me know if it is, but uh, they, for Uber drivers, if you don't pay for priority, they're, it'll, the driver is allowed to pick up multiple orders. I think that is the stupidest shit ever. Like, do you want me just to not tip this guy? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, so, like, for example, if someone orders, like, say I order Wendy's, and somebody orders, like, Dairy Queen, he can he can grab both orders and go to the guy's house and then drop up my order second, because he paid for priority and I didn't. It's the most bogus huh? shit, and that's not even what I have beef with. What I have beef with is when you do that, these Uber drivers can't even fucking get the order right half the time anyways, but now it's even harder because... This has happened three times to me. They give the first order some of my order, like my drink or whatever, because it's ink. They have one tray and they put it all in one tray. And that's happened to me three times and I fucking go ballistic. <laughs> because these guys are idiots and if you have multiple orders, it's going to be even harder for them to understand. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That shit pisses me off, dude. It grinds my ears. <laughs> It grinds my fingers, guys. Grinds it. It grinds it. I'm not toxic, guys. I'm just saying it's it's logistically it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Dude, I, I'm not. I'm, if, 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 I swear, if there's like some kind of, I'm not. They need to. If they do some like MythBusters or something or some testing. I, I, the percentage, or oop, they must have the data, but the amount of wrong orders or mistakes must be insane for Uber Eats. I just, the chance of you getting the correct order, I swear, is like, I don't know, 60% or something. It's gotta be so low. I bet you it's gonna... I swear to God. It's gonna become so fucked up, Uber Eats and stuff, that uh, it's gonna implode on itself and then go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And then I'll cut over. Have a good night, DN Forever. His name is DN. DN. He's His name is Jesus Nuts Forever. <laughs> I call him DN. It's funny. Good name. Yeah, it was a really good name. He has, his, at the end, is 222, so that means like there was like three other guys that had these nuts. And like one, no, probably like six guys. One guy's like these nuts forever, and then they had to make one. And then yeah. one, 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 and then two, and the guys, then they started the two, right? And then he was yeah. two, two, two. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man, I gotta use two, two, two or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, 
Nice, I got it. That's great. Big goes into a challenge, he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and she was like, hey, these nuts were ever too, too, too. <laughs> they say the end, bro. <laughs> yeah, out the alpha artwork looks really nice. Yo, what's up, Gambit? I, I got Uber Eats yesterday and they screwed up my order. Dude. Bro. It's gotten so bad, guys, that... If I if I cannot afford for them to get it wrong, I literally phone the restaurant and tell them ahead of time. I'm hardcore. <laughs> I'm hardcore, dude. Like, for example, like if I order like a slushy or something from like 7-Eleven, I'll call them and be like, yo man, <laughs> make sure that shit's not drifting, you know what I mean? Make sure don't fill that slush until that driver gets there, okay? <laughs> they're like, fuck you. No no, they're they're, they're cool about it. They're like, okay bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. If I see your order, it's like, oh, it's a guy who hates this <laughs> <slushies." laughs> No. Like, oh, I hate this guy, you always make me do it last. <laughs> I order slushies? I, I, uh, when it's like really late, like we're talking like back when I was, uh, Nightwalker. Um, <laughs> when it's like four in the morning, there's like nothing open, right? So I have to order from 7-Eleven because it's, you know, it's 24-7. And they have like, uh, you know, uh, pitos, they have corn dogs, you know, whatever. They got pitos. Yeah, so I just get a bunch, I just get a bunch of random shit and, you know, I'm like, Hey, it's 7-Eleven, I'm gonna get a fucking slushy, you know, whatever. It's all good. But then when I get my slushy and it's just water, I'm like, huh. Hey. <laughs> it's a pop now. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what's going on? You know? Vesper is a risk taker? What the hell does that mean? I phone them so there's no risk involved. Chip chip in. Oh, I tried to splash kick. You guys like those, uh, taquitos? I get, I get, like, just variety. I just grab a bunch of- it's like... I don't know, I, I think 7-Eleven's got some pretty good finger food, dude. You guys have to. You guys have to remember that, like, where I live, we don't have like the cool like. We don't have too many cool. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know those like. You mean like fast food joints? Yeah. But we'll like original cool ones, you know, like original, yeah, have, not chains. We don't have mom and pop places. Yeah, like we don't have those, and we don't have um, you know, the we stands like, outside. Yeah. Like we <laughs> do like. We kind of do, but not, not like... It's, it's, those it's not open late, you know? Yeah, it's not open late. It's fucking cold where I live, so it's like only seasonal. <laughs> like, we don't have the fucking ice cream truck driver come by, you know, in our neighborhood ringing the bell every day. It's not like that here, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when it's like 4 in the morning and you need some food, there's not much choices. And when 7-Eleven looks fucking amazing, if you're able to get like, you know, Corn dogs or pizza or whatever the time. I, by the way, I fucking love corn dogs. I told you guys that before. And how I got screwed over at E3 because of corn dogs. I love corn guys. I love corn dogs, dude. Dude, I was. Dude, I. I literally like will willingly like miss my bus for a fucking corn dog, dude. Like way back in the day, I uh, I'm like. Uh, my my bus stop, my bus stop to get to work. Um, after I like take the train and shit, I'm like downtown, and I'm like, I'm, the bus stop is right near the 7-Eleven across the street, and I'm like, hey, my bus comes five minutes. I'm like trying to look through the window. I don't really see too many people in the line. I'm like, fuck, I can really use a corn dog right now before work. <laughs> so I run across the street. I grab a corn dog. And I'm like, there's like a guy in front of me and he's like taking too long to like get, you know, his wall and shit. I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need this corn dog. And then I grab the corn dog. I open the door like to leave 7-Eleven. And as I open the door, I have my corn dog in my hand. And then my butt's like, he goes by right by my stop. Just like, look at my corn dog. Just eat my corn dog. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. And in the break, it's a corn dog away. Yeah. Every time. Every time. What can Chun Li do with her jabs? Same thing as anyone else, I think. Oh. oh. Five guys? Oh. 
I, I don't go downtown enough. I mean, like, we do have some, like, unknown places I've never seen before. Oh, shit. Like, the center Sorry. of our city does have some shit. Some unknown shit I don't know about. I might five get guys? Five guys tomorrow. Yeah, five, I think the last time I went to Five Guys was with Claw. That was when I was on Keto. That's right. You ordered uh, a burger with no buns. A burger with no bun, and the guy like smiled at me. I'm like, he's no like, bun, he's... bro. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure there's no bun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ate it with uh, mayonnaise, right? and mayonnaise and mustard. It was really fucking good, though. Yeah. I went to Five Guys a bunch of times. Pretty good. You like we got one over there. Yeah, it's also. I gotta drive all the way over there. Either. Yeah, I think that's where we went to IKEA or some shit. <laughs> Mayonnaise and mustard it do doesn't have uh, well as much sugar as like ketchup. Mustard's fine for sure. Mustard and I mean ketchup and mayonnaise is good. It's very, uh, you don't like mayo? What the hell? Is Chipotle in Canada? Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah. Not much, though. Oh, holy shit, I'm getting mauled. Yeah, it oh. is high in calories. But when you're on keto, it's really hard to bump over in calories. Like, you really... It's really tough. You'd have to, like, be an animal. <laughs> Just eating protein is, like... You wouldn't be able to do it. Unless you're just, like, lathering everything in butter and shit. Even then, it'd be really hard. Calories is, like, mostly just, like, carbs and sugar. That's, like, where everything comes from, man. Yeah. Once you add- once you add the fucking bun to the burger, it's, like, boom. <laughs> The bun, bro. That's why there's so many, so many diets that, um, a lot of diets remove the bun, like for many different reasons. Whether you don't want to eat sugar or gluten or whatever the fuck your reason is, it's like a lot of people remove bun. That's why like more and more fast food places are like it's getting more of like that on the menu. Like you can actually see it. Yeah, yeah, BMAC, like, being a water drinker is a big deal. Uh, no, that's what they say for every diet, like, the first thing to do is to, uh, is to remove soft drinks, right? Like, that's, like, one of the biggest things, soft drinks for sure. And, you know, there's a lot of good substitutes, too, for soft drinks. There's so many good substitutes. Like, I, I drink the... <laughs> the Zevia, the Zevia pop. <laughs> Willie says it's fucking disgusting, but I love that shit. And I, of course I drank the Coke Zero before, but I, I had to stop because of the aspartame. It was really fucking bad for you. It's really toxic. I'm trying to do Alpha Con. Oh, <laughs> it's really hard and bad. You have a lot of choices. There's, um, I think it's called Meal? They're like little drops. You can literally put these drops in your water to flavor it. There's, there's a guys. There's a million things to like substitute for pop if you really can't let go of pop. You know, there's a ton of shit. Yeah, meal. Yeah, I, I, I was just gonna mention that too. You can just carbonate your water too. Some people, the it's not the pop they're addicted to. They like that, that carbonation. That's normal too. Yeah. You can carbonate your water. There's tons there's tons of things you can do. Like I said, you have way better options for that than like someone on keto has for like substituting a bun. On like, keto you still do some Frankenstein shit. Unless you wanna like actually bake like almond flour bread. 
I don't think she can do it. What's that? I don't know if she can do that. Well, the short short? Yeah. Well, she doesn't have to. Good job. It still blows my way I don't have uh, Soul Spiral. <laughs> like, I'm so confused by that. Yeah, Fizzy Water. Yeah, I feel like tea. I'm not a tea guy, I'm not a coffee guy, but some people like that too. Tea is normal. Shit. Wow, that was really nice. Wow, look how much damage you did to me. What the hell? Nerfed this game, man. That was nice crazy. Damage. One cross up, guys, and I was dead. <laughs> Best for likes Vietnamese coffee? I do, actually, but I rarely order it. You, you have to I, say it in Vietnamese. I order it, like, only when I'm, like, I don't know. When I'm with a big group of people and we just happen to be in, like, a Vietnamese restaurant. Dude. <laughs> Vietnamese coffee? When was the last time I drank Vietnamese coffee? I remember when we were in... I think I was in Calgary, and... I was with Gutex, and we were in a Vietnamese restaurant, uh, like, in the morning, before the tournament started or whatever. And I got Vietnamese coffee. And then, you know, they, if you guys haven't seen it before, you have to... It's, it's kind of interactive. They put down a little thing, and you have to wait for it. And Gutex was like, he's like, what's that? And I'm like, it's just coffee, man. He's like, and then he I told the lady, he's like, can I get that too? <laughs> that was like the last time I ordered this coffee. He was like fascinated by it. Then he got it forever after that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> That's his new thing. Maybe he drank it, drinks it to this day. You know, so. And he drank it so much, he went crazy. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that too. I knew you were leading. <laughs> you were leading into that. Um, oh my god! Oh god! Here it comes. <laughs> oh baby. See me in Street Fighter Six. <laughs> I like. Uh, do you guys like Light Chi? Okay. Light Chi's okay. I got. I, it's like an acquired taste. It. It's, yeah, it's an acquired taste, and it's got a very, um, it's a hard to describe, uh, texture to it, because the way it kind of goes down is kind of different yeah. than a lot of drinks. Oh. I remember telling a friend, because I was drinking light sheet, and he didn't know what it was, and I, I told him those, like, those, uh, like the shit in the drink, I said it was eyeballs. <laughs> I thought it was eyeballs. I was like, really? I'm like, yeah, bro, it adds flavor. Dude, now I gotta crave for Chinese food now. Going all happy something. I know. Dude, I'm jonesing for it. Don't start that leftover shit. Okay, last match call. Alrighty. It's midnight. Right, cool. I'm not scared of microwave. Sumo so you guys, once you guys, like, eat, like, Pizza 73, you'll understand that, like, that pizza, it's like, you can't salvage it, alright? After it's not fresh, there's no, there's no, there's nothing. It's, it's no longer pizza. Damn, can is that super? Yeah. Uh -huh. Shit. Oh, yeah. Sonic Boom did come out. Oh, 
the poisonous puffer fish? Dude, that makes me think of this damn Simpsons episode. Like poison, poison, tasty fish. Yeah, I see a lot of people recommending air fryers, especially for uh, if you like uh, cooking bacon. Right now we're just rocking the the slow cooker. The slow cooker is just too godlike right now. Really good. Best pizza in Edmonton? Versottles would be one of them. I tried to order them uh, a few weeks ago, but they were closed. Like, did they say they're on holidays or they're? No, I do just in the pickup. <laughs> oh probably shit. Probably Versailles would probably be the last thing in the city. But sushi chefs, talent and hands were busy with Mrs. Really? Mrs. Kebab? Well, I have to. Yeah, really. Man, I really. I, I need to start watching Simpsons again, man. It's been that, so that's like a really old episode. That's like first yeah, season. it's a really old one. But we, I, I talk with the chat about the Simpsons episodes all the time. I really need to start watching them again. That's why he couldn't cut the blow. Oh right, he they it wasn't the main cook, right? He got the the guy in training to do it, and he was sweating bullets, right? Yeah, Coming back wrong. to me. Yes. Yes. And then like, cut it wrong. Yeah, don't cut it wrong, or you're gonna kill him. Right, right. I remember. Yeah, that's old school. All right, cool. Thanks for uh, teaching me some Street Fighter Alpha. Thanks, Chat2, for teaching me some Street Fighter Alpha. This game is pretty cool. Time went by pretty fast playing Qua, guys. It went by a couple hours already. Yep. Thanks, guys, too, for um, helping me uh, record that live video. I appreciate it. I'll release that video tomorrow. I'll probably get some food and work on it right now. Just finish up the editing. And yeah, tomorrow we'll play some more Alpha. Maybe we'll play some KOF tomorrow, too. I mean, Quas still got to play that. And then I don't know what's going on Tuesday. Like I said, we'll try to finish up the rest of that 95 list. That's the current plan. And then hopefully next week, too, like tomorrow or Tuesday, Capcom does some news on this damn balance patch, you know? So, yeah. I hope you guys had a good weekend. GG's again. GG's. GG's, guys. Oh, I was going to kill Bird.